checked out. Okay. Well, did you hit go live? Because you no. think you didn't. <laughs> so you're Wait, welcome. I've been, it's been streaming to nothing this whole time. Yes. <gasps> So Dick just gave me a lecture about how I always, before the show, check to see if we're live, and then it turns out we weren't live. So that's on you. You're not allowed to ever lecture me. <laughs> all about you have to do is look and see if it's on there. Go live. I have to remember all this stuff. Well, you just have to remember the one thing: press the go live button. Okay. If you would get I see, me, I flipped it around on him, even though a, it is my fault. If you would get me a mouse that works instead of the, the broken mouse, don't do that. Don't trade the Ukrainian flag I'm like just that. Making, just toss it out of the way. I'm like not that. tossing it. We got to hang it back up. <sighs> Whatever. How you anyway. doing, Luke? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. I'm Lean that. Right. Push that mic closer to you. These mics are very sensitive because they're cheap like and this? old. This? Yeah. This yeah. So just close. like that. Were you recording right now, though? You were recording, though. I was recording all that, yeah. yeah. So everybody yeah. listens to the audio show gets to listen. You go, why do you check your phone <laughs> uh, to no, see if the I show said, is live? I don't know why you don't trust me. And I the didn't show's say that, did I? Live. I didn't no. say that. I just said you do that. I do do that. And there's a reason I do that. It's to neurosis. make sure the show that- goes live. It's not. Ner- it, well, it is. A, it's becoming a neurosis because you screw up the show every time. And then we go, no, all right, oh. I'm being too harsh. <sighs> I just want to make sure that, you know, we're actually streaming to people. Yeah. The chat gives me a veto W. Thank you. I'm sure the <laughs> chat I'm that. sure the chat is happy that I remembered to set the show live. I'm sure they're happy about that. <sighs> okay. Wanna you win. This? You want to do this show? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, fuck, it's starting. Eh, whatever. Are we live? We are live. Oh, live now. Biggest. Thanks to me for pressing the button. Problem in the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe, the only show that ranks every problem in the universe from poorly focused cum shots to loser gamer bro bots. Does sure. that work? Why not? Uh, Aaron sent that to me and he said, this is the greatest rhyme I've ever <laughs> given you. <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I don't think I, uh, I'm your host, Dick Madison. Joining me as always is Vito Giswaldi. Hi. Joining us, very special episode straight from a, are you allowed to say who you were interviewing with or you that mean, it was you a. Mean, you mean the Nazi? Or? Before you came here earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, before you were here. Oh, I was. Basically a bunch of foreign ones, mostly like French, Turkish. Oh, a lot of foreign press. You've foreign been press. Yeah, you. like there's a CNN in Turkey. I had no clue about that. CNN Turkey. Yeah. Oh, are they big on uh, on Holocaust memorials in video games in it, Turkey? It, it, Is it that? Se- it seems like it. They are. I mean, it seems like. Well, to finish Dick's dropped introduction, we're here oh, with yeah, Luke sorry. Bernard. Uh, a video game developer. I don't know. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself so that I'm people know? Speaking about myself, I'm, uh, we I'm all a, are. I'm a video game director, and I did the first video game about the Holocaust earlier this year. And I'm the one that also did the Fortnite Holocaust Museum. Oh yeah, right. You're not wearing headphones, so you can't hear it. It's uh, stay as close to this as you can. Oh shit. Yeah, it's podcast microphones. Yeah. Um, so like, I look like this now. Yeah, that's okay. that's. You fine. don't have to be hugged. <laughs> <off laughs> like, 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 it's really our fault because you have to turn your head so much in the studio. All right. That's yeah. better. I should have set you up Just better. Keep it right under you. Uh, oh, look so, at that Sean's it, rickety mic that he has yeah, this there. This feels like so weird the way I'm holding it now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Especially about serious topics, like. Uh, well, I was trying to figure out. So now, now, Luke, you're somebody I've known for. Uh, I was looking back. I was like, how did I even meet this guy? And it looks like 2017. I think you, you followed me on Twitter. You, you, because you were like the PlayStation experience, kind of yelling and well, singing or yelling. Oh, uh, during uh, Tim Rogers for Video Ball and all that. I think you were promoting a video game. Yeah, we were. We there was a period of time where I was working for a game company, and I was uh, out, yeah, yelling at people at conventions and trying to get them to play yeah. our games. Right. Yeah. That's pretty much how I didn't even meet you, but I just saw you, and I was like, "This guy." Who's that fat seems- yelling guy? I mean, it was fun. It was, but you were kind of the only guy just yelling just in the middle of the convention. Yeah, I was a great salesman, honestly. You were actually, yeah. Yeah, like we were doing really good promoting that game, and then yeah. and then it came out, and nobody bought it. What game was it? Uh, I think it was Video Ball from Tim Rogers, uh, the great Tim Rogers. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Video uh, Ball. And then you also, but you made what Plague Road? That was a game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I still make those kind of games. Yeah. Pretty- much, but I guess my Holocaust stuff is just like free. Yeah, is. very hot right now. <laughs> Holocaust stuff, <laughs> yeah. very hot, hot, hot. <laughs> I mean, so you you made a Holocaust game. Mm-hmm. You uh, which uh, you which side are you? Jewish. Okay. 
And then Wait, I'm not on the, no, I'm not the Nazi side. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess in today's day and age, you do have to ask that <laughs> yeah, you question, have to ask. sadly. <laughs> okay, you are Jewish. Yeah, me too. All of, we're all Jewish, um, just for the sake of censorship. Sure, and, you know, fine. We're, uh, and then you we're made... all on the Jewish side. How's that? <laughs> yeah, well, Vito definitely Vito recently is. destroyed Nick Fuentes, yeah, and he's no. been gloating about it and taunting well, all he, the Groypers about he, it all week. He actually did. So Vito is actually more... He has more power than the ADL. Like... I am more powerful than the ADL. Oh yeah, you I, heard it here first, <laughs> folks. <laughs> no, but <laughs> that, that's that's what kind of just is so ridiculous with a lot of like Fuentes supporters. Like they have all these conspiracies, yeah. right? And actually, it's just kind of just random people on the internet just getting together and just leaking their shit and being like, "That's Fuentes' fucking Twitter account." Yeah, or like you finding shit on Rumble and just putting it all out there, like. That's how it gets taken down. It's not by any big organization. There's no giant Jewish conspiracy. There's just one fat Italian guy <laughs> who wanted to unlock Twitter monetization, and it has happened because of the amount of impressions I got on snitching on Nick Fuentes. <laughs> so you're I saying will you now got be money paid for my tweets for betraying uh, free speech? I betrayed America first. Is that what we're saying? I'm free not, speech? Yeah. I didn't betray free speech for ratting I, out. I performed my own free speech. I said, look, right. here's what a guy is saying. Okay. And I think that what he's saying is wrong. Mm. That's not a free speech thing. That's so stupid. A, little, a lot of money in it. Well, there's going to be money. Yeah. Now that there is money in it now, it is, does become a weird ethical concern. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're real hung up on ethics, I'm sure, <laughs> Vito. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm like, man, I could just like start making stuff up and make big money. A lot of guys are doing that on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse you. I'm sorry. My I, word. I drank this Diet Coke a little too fast. I was going to say, though, isn't there now an incentive to play, you know, really, you know, before there was always an incentive to like try and bend the truth to make the most salacious story. But now that you can infinite actually like directly profit on it, isn't Twitter going to become like just worse? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yes. As if it's that's possible. Well, wasn't that the point of all this? I guess we're all just gonna be lying to each other for money, which is kind of fun. We'll see how that so goes. So you're now your new thing is you made a, a Holocaust museum in Fortnite. Yeah. Was that was that a big? Uh, no, I don't get paid for anything. You don't get paid for that. I don't get paid for anything, pretty much. Like I, I just kind of just self finance every single my own, like including my video game too. Okay. Yeah. Like everything I do, yeah, I'm not. No one backs me. I have, but it's like no. global news. It's the I mean, like the, the MLK. Yeah, yeah, every kid, there's like hundreds of millions of people in Fortnite. Yeah. Well, the people at Epic, they're really cool. They are like yeah. like I've uh, listened like again like my first game. I kind of launched on the Epic Game Store, so yeah, they are just cool people. They oh, are. your game came out on the Epic Game Store, and they kind of helped promote it or something, or. Well, I, I released it on the Epic Game Store, but not on Steam. Like yeah. I also released it on PS5, just because Steam. The comments would have been just a bunch of shit, so I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> how, do you, every how do you think yeah. that's going to go on Fortnite? Just curious. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> it, it actually won't because okay. we have emotes disabled. Okay. We have voice chat disabled. Okay. So you've totally silenced everybody. Yeah. So, so there so, will be... No, okay. So no one can actually... It's a quiet... Ex it's, a, it's a solemn experience, Dick. You don't need to be dancing or whatever the fuck. Are you I'm allowed? Mexican, so are do you know those muertos is like... Da -da 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 -da, you know, that's are the what dances disabled if you're in the Holocaust? Museum, can you emo? All the emotes are disabled. You can't, you're you saying. can't emote. I'm, I have single player, so basically we've we've done everything to make it super safe. So that's why it's funny when all the Quintas little Nazis were like, "I'm gonna come dance in the museum." I'm like, "You can't." Yeah, you so. can't. They can take cool. photos if they want, but yeah, like, okay, have fun. Now, what is they, is what if they line up in like any kind of shapes? Are they allowed? That's, to, well, that's the thing. Idea. <laughs> it's, it's only like one person. It's only one person at a time. Like it's an individual oh, instance. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so that's why it's actually. It's you actually, fuckers thought of everything. Yeah, this they time. really did. That's All right. good. Well, that's well, that, it's it's it's, it's actually it was super simple. Kind of thing. You just needed to look at. Well, actually, all the Fuentes people are telling me what they're going to fucking do. So it's just like. So you just go to Epic and everything that they say, like, we're going to do this. You go, hey, can you make it so they can't do that? I have, just... I have tried to tell them, you guys got to stop broadcasting everything you're going to do. <laughs> or you know, just got to stop saying stuff out loud. Just stupid anti-Semitic <laughs> bullshit, and then you won't have a problem anyway. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? So now is the Fortnite Museum, is it currently live or is it going live? It's going to go live, but I'm not saying when. Okay. <laughs> just, just because. 420? What's for oh no no that's a little bit past. I really stick it in their craw right? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, next next week sometime, or maybe week the week sometime, after. Maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm just not saying it anymore. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm excited. It's Dick's pretty wild. I never thought I would have seen. Now, do you uh, know that? Did, have you, you, did you? Are you aware that you and Dick had a little Twitter well, spat? I wouldn't call like it a quick spat. one. I don't know if you noticed, really? but I think Dick said something negative. He said, oh, no, I, "I guess for spy, I didn't take his." Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think you guys are really feuding. But I think Dick's point was, I that mean, like <laughs> kids. I think they go, they go, to, they got a long day of school learning about <laughs> learning about the Holocaust, so they want to come home and unwind well, and that, just play a game of Fortnite. I think it's maybe it's optional, though. They don't have yeah, to. Have it's, it's, all right, it's, it's, it's all optional, Holocaust, but yeah. also Holocaust education. So when we live in big cities, right, like it's it's all over. It's, it's pretty much you know, it's mandatory. Yeah, yeah. But actually, it's an utter disaster in rural America everywhere. It is. So that's basically why I kind of do these things. But everything is optional. In smaller true? towns, they don't have smaller the towns, kind of they education don't teach about the well the Holocaust. You know, it's not mandated by every state, etc. But funny yeah. enough, in Florida, where it's mandated, is actually where the most where everything's kind of going to shit, pretty much. Hmm. You, you know, kind do you of, think they're teaching it incorrectly in Florida, or what? What about DeSantis's like well, anti-Semitism the, the, bill? Did you see that? Uh, it's like a crime well, to be to be anti-Semitic. I, th- I don't know. I didn't read that the whole article. I have not it's seen that. I d- I don't think I'm not sure if those things work. Because if you look at the Goyim Defense League, have you ever, do you remember those guys that went around LA? That what were they called? Goyim Defense League. Goyim, Goyim Defense, Defense, Defense League. League. I think Sounds I remember. So fancy. I've only ever heard it said in a Southern accent. I didn't know that <laughs> word. Yeah, they actually come from California, but now they moved over to Florida, and they're just a bunch of idiots who just go to synagogues and just like we're Nazis kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I d- I d- um, I, I I don't know if laws and they're like no man, but for for Nazis. Can we bump yeah. him a little bit? Is that uh, yeah, bump? Let's bump me. Put me up. Oh yeah, we're just gonna bring up your audio yeah, level slightly. Yeah. Oh shit, I can move it like this actually. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. No, actually, it's weirdo. It is, but sounds good right there. Anything? Yeah, there. Try that. <clears throat> can you hear me now? How's that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, anti-Semitism is a problem. It's on the board. It's on the list. What and, you were uh, saying about the Goyim Defense League. Oh, the Goyim Defense League, yes. That they're just kind of... They're, but they're just kind of these idiots. They are pretty much. They just can't go around. Me, I'm actually more concerned about people end up doing mass shootings or things like that. And yeah. Now we can't gain dark. But basically, that's why I think what you posted... Oh, you think it could lead to violence. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's the thing could lead to violence. And that's why basically Fuentes kind of fucked himself. By kind of uh, I, that, I couldn't that, agree more with that. That 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 speech veto Dude, that was it. The point of no return. I'm like, what are you doing? You can't, you know, cause for all your little like, oh, I'm just joking around, and like I've even given him a pass. So he's like, oh, well, he's just making a stupid joke about cookies or whatever else. Like, yeah, I assume he doesn't actually believe that. But he gives this big stupid speech, and you go, no, no, it's like a metaphor. I want to like, you know, kill him, but you know, not really kill him, but like kill him. And I'm like. No, no. say kill them. You keep saying that to make it sound what worse. Is make them make die. Them die. Make, yeah, How make is them that die. die? What is make them it's die? Like, saw. If not like you put them. them in a room where they have to saw off their own leg to get a key or something. That's See, making them die. It's totally different. I'm not going totally to. I'm not going to kill that guy. I'm oh, just going to make him die. Word games? <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, I mean he he just kind of fu- fucked himself just to, just on that, and that's why he's basically like kind of banned off platforms. He is like yeah. platforms yeah. don't want someone like that, and you know just being an idiot. But what, what's actually advertisers in- don't want to be yeah, on that's... platforms next to that guy, and that's what all these free speech guys don't understand. Is they're like, well, I don't understand what the problem is. I'm like, the problem is no, Maytag. We understand that part. No, no, some we understand of you do. It. Some of you fucking we just don't. don't like it. Okay, well, it's some just of you. Bullshit. If it's bull, it's the way of the world, man. Okay, <laughs> capitalism is hopelessly intertwined with what the advertisers want. But what you're, where you start from is advertisers don't tolerate this is not necessarily true. They say they don't, but if they did it, they could. Who's buying the cars? Somebody's got to buy the cars, so eventually they'll crack. It's just that no big tech companies want to make them crack first. I just think that an, an alternate platform would just open up. They would go, hey, where everything YouTube is, but there's no Nazis. And the car company would go, well, that sounds infinitely better. So I'm just going to go over there. Yeah. In the marketplace. You yeah. Think, you think Pfizer gives a fuck where they advertise their death medicine? Uh, well, now they have that, what, the uh, DC, what's the, what's the diversity, whatever thing that everybody keeps making conspiracies about? The um, E I D E I yeah diversity yeah. equity inclusion yeah. yeah so legally yes, or something they have to for some reason uh, I have a according to the internet I p- I made a list of places where um, 
a Holocaust museum might go. Okay. I want to, if these, I want to see if these would be appropriate. These are your these suggestions are, for the uh, next Holocaust yeah. Museum. Okay. Uh, Pac Man. What do you think about like those inter- well, when he gets married and does a little chase and stuff? Nah, no, no, <laughs> no, because all those things pretty much are not metaverses. Have to be a metaverse. <gasps> oh, it has to be a metaverse. Has to be a meta. All those games don't work. Okay. No it has games. To be a game that where he could ex- explore, where you walk around. What about like uh, like an Arby's? Like you go through. There's like a vestibule. It's like a little. Yeah. No? Yeah. I don't like Albies, too. Is there any like restaurant Arby? where you think it might be? What, what about, the- like, a spotter at the gym? Like, Equinox? Like, a guy's spot- you get a guy that's spotting you, and on the last rep, he, like, doesn't help you unless you unless acknowledge, you the, unless Holocaust. You acknowledge the Holocaust. Yeah, you think that would be good? No, I don't think that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would be good. <laughs> I think people are going to learn a lot from that experience. What about, here's, here's one. There's no way you've oh, thought of this one. What about inside of a Holocaust museum? Well, no, it's, it's really not... <laughs> A tinier <laughs> Holocaust. Right? All right, I gotta give him. I gotta give <laughs> tinier. tinier ho- that's not a bad movie. idea. What do you think? I kind of gotta give you points for that one. <laughs> okay, let me get distracted. Let me read. Uh, let me read some. Thank you for coming. Thank oh, you. No, no for problem. Being here. We're gonna get back into it. I'm sure. Uh, John Riff says Vito intentionally refusing to lose weight because it was too hot is the greatest bit. It's not why he I even to foreshadowed it by talking about climate change. What a prank you pulled for the hundredth episode. Vito missed a weigh in. He's in a weight loss contest. I'm not doing very well. And he with himself. And he gained uh, weight at the between the last weigh in. I gained one pound. It was all water weight. And I've been very good this week. And he was bragging. He tweeted, "It's it's almost impossible to eat now because okay, it's so simple." He's like, "It's I have to force myself to eat." The problem. And then he gained a pound in a month. Is yeah. that I went off the Ozempic because I didn't know how to mix the next batch and I was too lazy to look it up. Yeah. And then I checked after I finally remixed it and, th- and I'd been off it for a full month. Yeah. But now I'm back on. I mixed a new batch. Okay. I upped the dose. Today I ate uh, beef and broccoli with white rice. It's like nothing. That, okay. That's what we were eating now? Well, I mean, I'm eating, you know, I'm trying to eat normal f- food. Yes, and I'm drinking. I got the light tea. lemonade now. Oh, he had a water. I had a, wa- I have a water up. He brought a tiny thing of water, like 16 ounces of water. I'm drinking there. more water. I bought a bunch of bottled water. <laughs> um, I'm saying is, guys, don't count me out yet. Yeah. Uh, Aesop says, Vito, don't worry about ruining the bit. Uh, the fact that you gained weight is funny. I agree. Fox later says, I weigh far less than Vito, and I've lost five times the amount of weight he's lost in half the time. My body's catching up. My body's figuring out this whole new metabolism thing. Uh, Ash2 says, Vito's on fire lately. This podcast compi- combined with this performance on Cherry's stream. Uh, keep it up fatty, he says. I didn't add that. That's I was on, I've was on. i been on Cherry's stream twice now. I think I'm moving into the realm of uh, left wing. What do they, they call that? I can't what say is what, that on the stream. Well, shut up. What does <laughs> Destiny do? He's like a commentator or Man. like a... Reactor. Oh yeah, debater. Debate. A yeah. Debate bro. Left w- debate broing. Wow. So I've been doing a little bit of that. <clears throat> then she brought me on to debate bro with Destiny about Nick Fuentes, and Destiny was like, I don't know, this is kind of dumb. And I'm like, Well, I didn't come up with the topic. She did. But uh, I actually talked to Destiny about Nick Fuentes because he was a he was hanging out with Nick Fuentes at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Nick Fuentes used to talk a lot more about, like, politics and stuff. Well, that was Destiny's take, as he said. He thinks that uh, the Kanye situation is what irreparably destroyed maybe uh, Fuentes. Because once, you know, you're hanging out with Kanye and Kanye's saying all this I love Hitler stuff, <clears throat> you're forever, you're the guy who's touched by that. And Kanye gets the I'm crazy excuse. I personally, You don't get that. I personally don't like all, I don't like anti-Semitism, but I can't say... It Why doesn't do you need a work. Bot? I can't say it doesn't work because it, you know, historically. For what? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it works to achieve the uh, goals of evil men. Yes, <laughs> hate, hatred know. can be effective. I um, understand that. Okay, let's see. All right. Uh, Dick open. Chesty Larue says Dick opened my eyes to all the bullshit with Isom when he had Nina to admit she hadn't even read it yet, but was praising it. I haven't been able to watch her since. Wow. I don't know why anyone watched her to begin with. She's talentless. Uh, Luke, do you know about ISOM? No, who's that? It's a, it's a Christian superhero. It raised $4 what? million dollars for a comic book. What What's the point of him being Christian? Does he attack people with a cross? We don't know. We don't know. He just has a big cross on his 
belt wait, area. Wait, wait, wait. So it's that comic that you guys keep on shitting yes. on. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a guy, it's Super Jesus or something? Or Black Super Jesus. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, what makes him Christian? What, what, what makes... His suit has a giant cross on it. On the, on the uh, crotch <laughs> area. But right what, above his dick <laughs> is a big cross. For no it's not explained. I think we're waiting to, f- I think at some point he's going to meet Jesus. It was a guy who, who learned, who wrote for the first time on a $4 million comic, and it really shows that he's never, like, written a story. I, or I'm just wondering, who are his enemies? Like, he, he's super oh, Christian. I wish I knew. <laughs> who are his enemies? I'm kind of a bit concerned now, I am. Well, his enemy is Darren. Is yeah. that a good name for a villain? Wait, yeah. is that is that really the villain's name? Yeah, yes, you know, it's Darren. not like Thanos or like uh, <laughs> Mentok the Mind Taker. It's Darren, <laughs> who is a guy. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a big weird mess. Um, we'll I have to get you a copy. Oh, did I even do the uh, the the who won? I don't <laughs> think you did. The voice a- voice actors recording at home. Uh, was not, the winner? Was the winner? Oh, yeah. Sean won the hundredth episode. Won. Our guest won the last Great. one. Great. Uh, non-drivers got second. That was mine. Uh, do you drive? No. How do you get around here without driving? <sighs> Isn't that expensive? Uh, no, actually, because I can't reveal where I live because of obvious reasons, but I, I live the place in a LA. centralized kind of area. Yeah, I can kind of walk everywhere I can. And okay. I'm, I'm from Europe. We don't really drive. Well, Europe, there. all your towns are like consolidated yeah. where you can walk to everything. Most LA is not like that. Uh, New York's a great walking York. city. <clears throat> And then um, I came in dead last with... Yeah, gamers and then the production quality of amateur porn. Yeah, and then everybody's on the forum speculating about what kind of pornography I'm downloading. He uses a torrent to access pornography. Why? Which it's is crazy, very man. weird. It's not weird. Look, okay, you know how there's like these OnlyFans girls and they release all their stuff or whatever? So you're hacking them. Yes. Well, kind of, yeah. You're not paying them without, for the hard work. Yeah, without consent. Well, no, because I don't want to download it one image at a time or one video at a time. I want like a, a package and some guy goes, here's everything she put out in May and you download that and then you, you have do this it. to? What girl? I don't know. I just yeah. Wh- see, he does this every <laughs> last so last week. Last week he says he torrents porn, and I said, "What kind of porn are you torrenting?" No answer. Just weird, like, uh, not 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 weird, anything weird. I'm like, okay, that's very fucking weird, dude. So he had a week to concoct this scheme, but he it's can't name one scheme. porn star. Look, there's a there's a site. It's a torrent site. You have to be a member. And so then, you're paying the torrent site, but no, not the girl. No, no, no. Yeah, I think yeah. I became a member for free, and then you just got to keep your upload ratio or whatever. So you're leaking people's pictures. So you're participating in the piracy. Well, every time I finish a torrent, I you know pause it. What do you mean finish? <laughs> when I finish downloading it, you know, as long as my ratio, my C. Can you put a little addendum to the museum in Fortnite about <laughs> don- not doing this? <laughs> Point is, that's the one person you should pay is the OnlyFans whore. Sometimes I pay them, and then but then sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this lady, so let me, you know, if her stuff's really good, then yeah, maybe I'll be like, all right, I'll sign up for a month to get the new thing or whatever. <laughs> you don't. There's no sometimes, way. Sometimes, occasionally. How? Who is it? Name there's one. A lot of different name ladies one. out there. Name I'm one. not naming any. You can't even name one. Points. I don't believe the story. Kitty Galores. <laughs> is that real? No. Is that a James Bond character? Uh, yeah, that was yeah. pussy galore. Pussy oh. galore. Uh, I'm not gonna name any. Why? Because I don't know, man. Because sometimes it's so weird. you won't even promote what? her. You're stealing I from her, and you won't even her. fucking promote her on the show. There's some yeah, weird that's such shit, a dirty and there's, move. Look, there's some trans shit. There's some weird <laughs> shit. Okay, and I don't want to talk about it. It's not exclusively that. Is it a black trans woman? That. No, it's not a black trans woman. There's a white. Come on, give a us white, a hint. There's a white trans lady. I've downloaded all her stuff, and she's she's a good looking. Who's gal. the most popular white trans lady on OnlyFans? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who the most popular one is. Who's your favorite? Who's my your favorite? I'm not gonna tell you who my favorite is. Look, <laughs> why'd you be giving that free promotion? Have... It doesn't mean that you're <laughs> illegally downloading from her. You just promote her at least. I just. I don't know. I don't have an answer. Oh, Just let me enjoy my pornography. You can en- tell people it's not cutting down on your enjoyment of it. I know. I will, uh, I'll try to think. I of- tell everybody right away. Tell me Tanaka. I'll try to think of some names. How's that? <sighs> I'll do my best. Yeah, but you're going to hide with the truth. I am going to hide the truth. Yeah. Well, that, we don't want that. We want to know what the well, real the names are. The point is, I like a bunch of stuff. I like all kinds of weird stuff. Everybody was suggesting that it's illegal content because I'm torrenting Wait, it. Wait, what's no. the weirdest stuff you like? 
You know, like like there's like fetish type stuff. Like whoa. okay, like furry feet. stuff. There's feet. You stuff. like feet stuff? Well, not like exclusively, but like there's some of that. So you like everything? I like everything. That's kind of the problem, and that's why I can't name anything. Is that I go on and I just like go like, oh, that sounds interesting. What about women throwing up? No, I don't like that. Ugh. That's fucking gross. Well, all right, that was my only guess. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking disgusting. Uh, okay. Well, I don't like any of the like spit or the like peeing or the the throwing up. Yeah, blood, none of that. No fluids. All right, uh, I don't d- like cum for the same reason. I, I, okay, I don't like fluids. You're changing the subject because you don't want to <laughs> say the girl's name <laughs> and give her free advertising. I've look, I've posted stuff. I also like a lot of hentai stuff too. So everybody loves hentai, but that's not on only. But fans. there's like torrents of like some of the hentai guys, and it's like all the stuff they've hentai made guys. And- yeah, guys that they've made, the guys who drew the stuff. So don't, just, hentai was only guys. No, 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 no. Why don't you just go on, like, the hentai sites for that? Why do you download it? It depends on who it is. Some of the stuff's, like, weirdly paywalled and stuff. I don't know. Some of it you can't find on places. Okay. I'll get to the bottom of this. No, you, you won't. You better have more stories concocted <laughs> by next week. I'm going to figure this one out. Uh, I'm gonna go. There's probably, just there's probably one more thing. There probably Vito. is some furry stuff in there. I'll cop to that. All right. The do you want to go? Make good porn. Do you want to go first? No, because there's I lost. so much trash. That's the worst part about the furry stuff. Is yeah, some of it of is bad. the hot. Some of it's the most unbelievable porn you've ever seen. But then it's lost in like it's like a speck of. Uh, like one little droplet of water in an ocean of autistic yeah. trash. Don't you? Don't you agree with me? Yes. Okay. My problem is. Um, That was a drum roll. Uh, the Barbie movie. We're not friends anymore. What are you talking about? Barbie movie was the Barbie amazing. movie. I saw it. You haven't even times. seen it yet. I did see it. Did you see it? I saw it last night. Okay. So what's the problem? Uh, the first, the first half or the first eighty uh, percent was probably one of the best movies ever made, mm-hmm. and then the third act was. The worst thing I've ever seen. Third act falls so, apart a little bit. <clears throat> the worst, movie. the worst thing in my life. No. Which part is the third act? Exactly? Third act is right they return to Barbie World. Right when I they was actually said, my favorite part. That was your favorite part. I actually when, loved seeing the Kens like kind of get out of control and just be ridiculous. That was good. And thinking, you know, that uh, what was it called patriarchy had to do with horses. Like that was funny. Then he said the Mojo Dojo Casa House, and I said, okay, that's kind of funny, and then they made him repeat it three times, and I'm like, uh, this writer's really in love with their own jokes. Farts. yeah. Okay. And then they, the Barbies talked about what it is to be a woman for a half hour, and then Barbie became a real human for no reason. Well, there was a reason. Crying and leaving Barbie land after not having figured out how to handle either the Kens or the Barbies. And I said, this is just. Okay, hold on. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Okay, so what is the problem specifically? It's like two thirds of a brilliant movie. The third act's a little bit sloppy, but it still comes together. It still works. No. It doesn't work at all. Why does it not work? Because there's no reason for her. There, she. Uh, there's no reason for her to become real in the first place. Everything she learned about being real is horrible, and she even says it, and then says, right. "Well, I guess I'll just be real then," because Rhea Perlman uh, says it's cool. Well, th- I would say mm-hmm. there's actually a, a key thing. Like she basically says that she wants to be part of the humans that can create things, yeah, rather than just a creation. Basically, no longer just a doll. So yeah, it seemed like she wanted to just experience life. It's ups and downs. Yeah, it's like Pinocchio, right? It's exactly like Pinocchio. It's exactly yeah. like Pinocchio, except Pinocchio earned it. He got eaten up by a big whale, and then got shot out of the whale and sacrificed himself she had for to his go to dad. Jail. She went to jail for briefly a couple times. It's like times. a gag. Yeah, and then she goes back to Barbie Land, and, and a lady, a girl called her a fascist, and that made her sad. Yeah. Uh, And then she kind of gives Ken an apology, and it's not a very, it's like every apology that I've ever gotten from a woman. It's Mm. not very good. And then that's. Ken's not a real man, though, so he doesn't deserve a real human apology. He doesn't need one. He's a doll. Yeah. Okay. So the moment she she has that moment on the bench with the old lady. Uh huh. She discovers the beauty of the human condition of both the the, the ups and the lows, the highs and the downs. And that's why she wants to be human. Yeah, that part was trite. 
No, that part was and saccharine great. and oh, dumb. Man, fucking, all the satire was amazing. Your ass. Uh, but then it all falls apart because they had to actually made a, make a movie, and they decided to just make a scene where she becomes human. Yeah. Instead. So the movie got woke. Is that the problem? It was just bad. Ironic. <laughs> ironically, it fell apart because the writing was bad yeah. at the end. That was my problem with it, and it exposed uh, that the entire like influencer sphere. Is just one gigantic ad machine mm. for uh, Barbie and for Hollywood with their race to make asinine assertions that are either woke or anti woke or anti anti woke or anti 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 woke. Um, that was the worst part of it. I think, look, I think I agree that the ultimate, uh, for people who haven't seen the Barbie movie, the third act is that Ken has taken over the Barbie universe with his uh, bastardized version of. The patriarchy. Which was great. Which is funny. Yeah. And all the conservatives complaining about that <clears throat> are stupid because it's, yeah. a, it's a gag. And it was even funnier because Barbie couldn't figure out how to stop the patriarchy. Right. <laughs> she, just, <laughs> she just talked about herself. And then all the Barbies talked about themselves. And they said, all right, well, we're, that's it. We're done. I'm going to go be human. <laughs> all right, well, that's not... I agree that the way that that wraps itself up, where they in, then re-indoctrinate the Barbies with very basic feminist messages... Yeah. Was sloppy. I can agree with that. Yeah. And but there's I, no reason for her to be human other well, the, than that the vagina joke. human is that it's beautiful to be human. That's the whole point. I think that came across fine. It's, yeah. It's the, it's the movie AI. It's Steven Spielberg's AI. It's a robot, becomes self-aware, and wants to be human. Yeah. And that, uh, was, and that really worked for me, and that was good. You know what movie it is, actually? What? Demolition Man. How is it Demolition Man? Where a guy Man. comes into the future... And meets go, is in the perfect world, and then goes into the scuzzy world, and then comes back and has to unite the two, mm. right? The Ken world and the Barbie world. She's got to unite the two together. You got to get a little clean, and you got to get a lot. You got to get, get a lot, lot dirty. dirty, and you got to get a lot clean, <laughs> and then work it out, right? <laughs> that was the end. Not Sylvester Stallone looking at Rhea Perlman and crying and asking to go back in time. She met God. Rhea Perlman was God there, Dick. That was she so dumb. She met her maker. She met her creator. <laughs> yeah. It was like a cute little subversive thing. Isn't it great that they took what could have been a stupid toy movie and they tried to inject a little humanity into it? Toy Story was a good movie that had humanity in it. Sure. Barbie was uh, trash. It's not trash. Stop that. Yeah, it's trash. You can say it's like you. Did, it's not your cup of tea, but it is an, a well-made movie. It's two-thirds of a movie. It's not two-thirds of a movie. And then, I, I just loved it. I saw it three times. I've cried every single time. I cried a whole bunch. I fucking I have. knew you. I, I turned cried. to my girlfriend. I fucking know Vito cried I during this movie. I like a little bitch because that fucking. Which part did you cry at, Luke? Uh, I think I, I cried at the ending each time during the scene which you didn't like, you know, where she kind of becomes human. Yeah. I think I also cried when she was looking at the old lady. And I think also Ken made me cry too. Because I, oh, yeah. I actually thought it was very sympathetic. That's yeah. kind of, I thought it was very interesting that. A lot of you know the far right and what they were kind of very offended by it for some reason. I was like, they are Ken, but I thought it was very sympathetic towards men who are lost, pretty yeah. much. You know, men who are like, I need to be like a you know man. I need to hate women or whatever. Dude, it was the ultimate manosphere message. Yeah. Don't let yourself be defined by whatever girl you're simping after. Mm -hmm. Like that is not your identity. You are your own man. Stop obsessing over women. Yeah, and just be yourself. Yes. Yeah. So Good. why are conservatives mad about that? They that's don't like want to. They their don't want favorite thing because that's <laughs> that's taking their money. They want to be the only ones saying oh, that right. so they can sell memberships like, wait, to their wait, wait, mug wait. club. I say that women aren't allowed to say that shit. Yeah, and then undercuts my whole thing. Yeah. Uh, Barbie was an expertly crafted movie. I agree. It has some third act problems. But I think it will go down in time as one of these classic movies that we continue talking about, like a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, you know? The first one? Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be, or Charlie and the, was the first one was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be like one of those things where 20 years from now, it's like, oh, Barbie, what a classic film, timeless yeah. Yeah, no, message. Yeah. I yes. think so because even in terms of the special effects, like, there's no really CGI, really. Yeah, oh, the effects were great. So. You got to say that. It was, it, oh, was, the Barbie it was Land. one of the best movies I have ever seen until they said <laughs> the the Mojo Dojo Casa House. Three times. The third time. And I said, let's go. That's it. <laughs> That's the end of the movie. There's no more. At this point, there's no more writing. Yeah. So 
Whatever you think's gonna happen, just invent it in your head. It's better than this trash. I would like to see the yeah you know, what, what that script went through because that did feel like a last minute, like how do we wrap this thing up kind of thing. It would have actually been better. Okay, here's how I would have done so this. Usually, movie. the main character Barbie fixes yeah. it, not a lady that comes in. That's a good point. <laughs> That's the kinda, mentor. They kind of work together a little bit. Yeah. I think it would have been better if they had acknowledged, because, like, the feminists, so the, the Barbies are programmed, they love patriarchy. Yeah. And they decide the way to deprogram them is to give them these, like, basic tautologies, little... Feminist tautologies. Okay, sure. Basic right? little messages about yeah. the female experience. Like, mm -hmm. did you know men work, you know, twice as hard, or men work half as many hours or whatever, or some shit? Yeah. You know, like, what? what is a feminist me thing that they say? They expect us, you know, we're supposed to want money. You have to not eat and not talk about it. Yeah. We can't outwardly want money because then we're greedy. Yeah. I think if the movie had made it clear that that character was like, listen, these are really, like, basic bitch morals, but that's why we're using them on Barbies because Barbies are parodies of what it is to be a woman. Sure. So we can feed them these, you know, debunked kind yeah. of useless feminist talking points. Uh-huh. And they go, oh, okay, and they'll go back to their fake yeah. feminist wonderland. They weren't good people. The so Barbies not were not people at all. But, That's but the point. But they were not good. They were not good things, and they just reverted back to being bad and selfish. Well, but they're not bad because they're toys. They have completely different wants and desires. Like, the Kens are mostly happy with being second-class citizens. They're They're like... Dumb. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, they're accessories. Yeah, it's yeah, like know. you know, you should pay you know uh, autistic people like a full wage, but if you give them you know minimum wage, they're usually okay with it, right? Or what's the, what's that reduced rate that you can pay handicapped people? The government gives you money. Yeah, to pay them. So you can pay them two dollars an hour, and it's like that's fine because they're not you know fully. Oh, this is yeah. a bad comparison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that they're dull. Like, everybody was really mad. They're like, this movie hates men. And I have to go, well, the Kens aren't men. They're parodies of men. Mm -hmm. they, so they don't have the actual wants and desires of men. Yeah. Which is why it's okay within this fictional universe to treat them like dirt. Because they're basically That's not moral. a good moral. No, you know? it is. A, no, it's not. It's, for a comedy movie, it's fine. It's funny. It's, no, it's not. It's funny if it ends with. It's funny to start no. there. It's not funny to end where you're okay. treating something that resembles a human Bar like trash. Barbie World is still controlled by little girls. So, the like, little girls are still going to not really care about Ken. Vito's making so much. It's controlled actually. by the girl that was dealing with growing up. That no, was it's controlled the, uh, by all girls. It is a collective sphere controlled by the the girls of the world. We have seen this established in the movies. Yes. And the only way that changes is if you go to every little girl in the world and you go, hey, uh, you should play with your Ken dolls more. And that is a but good that's, message no, for the movie. Globally, not, <laughs> we need to change the way we raise kids after 70 fucking years. No, girls can just moral. play with Barbie and there's no problem with it. And even if that means the Ken doll gets left in the toy box, that's fine because they're fucking toys and it doesn't matter. Yeah, And yeah, that's yeah. funny. And it's funny that the Kens are like, can we have an election? Joanne and Barbie want to say, I, yeah, yeah, can we be on the Supreme can Court? Can we be on the Supreme Court? And they're like, can we just get one Ken on the Supreme Court? And they're like, absolutely not. Ben, I'm like, horrible. No, that's horrible fucking joke. hilarious. No. I'm so glad they did horrible. that. Horrible decision. <laughs> no, you can't even have so one. So then why didn't Barbie want to stay in the world then? Because Barbie she's too fucking brain fried. No, she had evolved beyond being a doll, so a doll's world no longer appealed to her. She Horrible. had a, she had a taste of the proverbial apple of uh, truth and knowledge. Yeah, and uh, desired something beyond this empty-headed plastic bliss. If anything, it's like really kind of coming down on the whole concept of Barbies in a way that it's like, oh, you're kind of shitting all over everything Barbie is. That like. I almost wish this wasn't a Barbie movie so they could have leaned into that more. <laughs> but it's basically saying this is a this is a land created by children. Children are empty-headed simpletons. No rational human should want to live in Barbie land. It is a hellscape controlled by <laughs> morons and children. Uh-huh. Okay? And that uh -huh. was the moral, and that's funny. Okay. And you didn't get that because your conservative brain was like, duh, the women and the pink, and I don't like when ladies, and why weren't the men getting treated fairly... Uh, so you loved the last 40 minutes of that movie then? It had some issues. Yeah? It had was some issues. Was the issue issues. Uh, boredom? No, death by it was boredom. not boredom. The last 40 minutes of 2001 A Space Odyssey was better than that. I laughed when the Barbie says, oh, are you watching The Godfather? I've never seen it. Yeah, can that's you start, great. Can you start it from the that's beginning and explain every scene? Once, 
There was some good stuff that in was that good. final act. I was laughing. I have all my money in a savings What's account. My song? girlfriend goes, oh, that's you. I said, don't you <laughs> fucking dare. <laughs> yeah, I have all I my said, money. I said, please don't say bonds. Please don't say bonds. Please don't say fuck. <laughs> Ken told her she needed to invest in bonds. Yeah, yeah was, and CDs. I've stop. had that exact conversation with a woman in the past couple months, and now I'm going, uh, yeah, that movie was spot on. Um, anyway, that's my problem. I hope my audi- audience, movie. go see Barbie if you haven't seen it yet. Luke, you agree? Just walk out. I agree. The- it's just one of the best films ever made. One of the best films. It is. It's It's really good. Yeah. Until. Honestly, I thought Will Ferrell was one of the lacking parts. I didn't love him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alone in that for mommy, some reason. Mommy, when he said, Mr. Mattel, call me mommy. Call me mommy. <laughs> He was good. I just felt like I wanted more out of him. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but he wasn't such an important character. Really. No, I guess no. he wasn't. I mean, it was a little confusing, the whole Mattel uh, company kind of existing in its own reality. That was great. It was fun. Why not? I don't know. It was hard to... <laughs> the movie was all over. <laughs> we have her, She's got to become human. <laughs> oh, how do we get her there? I don't know. She just becomes human. That's fine. <laughs> I did She's like, depressed. I did like when Rhea Perlman shows up and Will Ferrell's just like, oh, yeah, we keep her ghost on the her second ghost. floor. And I'm like, yeah. that's the explanation. Fuck it. All right. I'm fine with it. Okay. Luke, do you want to go? Luke, what is your, what is your problem? biggest problem what is in the, the biggest problem in the universe? Uh, I would say... Jewish conspiracies, so basically conspiracies around Jewish people. Jewish conspiracies. <laughs> well, I'm right there with you because I see a lot of these, and they're kind of ridiculous. What's your favorite one? Well, the one which I can't see really right now is basically the ADL controlling everything. Yeah. Pretty much, or even thinking pretty much the ADL is removing our free speech on Twitter. Elon Musk fucking hates them. He hates the ADL. He hates the ADL? He doesn't like them. I mean, they have no contact. But he has to deal with them, though, right? No. No, they don't. What do you mean, no? They don't talk. They don't. Like, there is, like... Oh, I mean, he has to deal with their, like, their, uh... uh, Influence? Yeah, they're, like, labeling you an anti-Semite. So so that's that's the thing, right? They actually don't have that much influence. People think they do, so they might put out, like, press statements, this and that, but... Yeah. No one really listens. They don't. Really? yeah, what is something yeah. the ADL get? So does the ADL get accused of specifically silencing someone? Like the ADL has the power to go, hey, that guy. Like, let's use Nick Fuentes for an example. They would probably say, like, the reason he can't get on an airplane is because the ADL has somehow used their influence to why, flag. Why, why, why can't he get on an airplane? Uh, he's on the do not that. fly list, right? I well, don't it's, know. It's probably because of shit. You guys know more about Nick Fuentes. It's probably because of <laughs> shit which he said, like, pretty much, like, you again yeah pretty much when you posted that video you're probably default but i, th- I think it just it, it makes him be able to rally his followers more to be like it's the idea like, i'm up against the idea when in fact it's just veto yeah it sounds a lot more fun to say i'm being silenced yeah, because about the if ADL, he's like i'm being silenced veto by got veto. me kicked off rumble because <laughs> he reposted me so what do you think the adl is they're just no- nothing do they have any influence at all by calling people racist like any semites no, maybe I mean, at one point in time. I mean, it's it's, it's basically like you know. That's I'd kill it. myself if I got put on their list. That's all I know. I didn't even know they had a list. Do they have a comprehensive list? What well, they of do? All the anti semites. I mean, yeah. there is some which are really fucking extreme, like Nick Fuentes and all that. There's like proper white supremacists, all those things. But but now nah, they don't really just go after just random people. This and that. It's actually. I think Faye Tim, and, and I don't really get along with Sia. I mean, I'm constantly kind of calling him out on Twitter, all those things. With whom? Uh, the CEO of the ADL. CEO? Who is that? Is that Greenblatt? Yeah. Yeah. I just pretty much, yeah, you can see my tweets. I'm just kind of yelling at him all the time. <laughs> I am. Because I, yeah, I, well, I don't think he, he does his job well enough. Like, again, yeah. I, I'm just trying if it sounds like I'm just praising Vito. Like, Vito should be new CEO of the ADL. You should be. I, I don't know why I'm the only one who reported that Nick Fuentes said, you know, I want to make because, them die. Because, because I, like, expected there to be a lot more news articles about that. Because no one pays attention to those things. So even Nick Fuentes' Twitter account, right? Yeah. Basic, when, you know, he, he kind of was, you know, had a Twitter account and then his followers, all those things. I mean, he kind of outed himself, like, pretty much. Like, even, even when he put up on his Telegram, oh, my account got suspended for 12 hours. It's like, okay, that's really his account then. That's basically yeah. That he had a new account that he, well, he was using to ban people to know that it's him on Twitter. Mm-hmm. He wants people to That's be able I mean. to he, he participate. Kind of, he, he basically exposes himself, and yeah. if you just check his shit or just you know various videos or those kind of things, it's very easy. Yeah. You're just, okay, that's him. So to kind of because since because of again veto because of 
Fuentes, you know, queen death on people, pretty much. You know, Twitter, even Elon, doesn't really fucking want him, like, on his platform. Yeah. He doesn't. So it's very easy. Pretty much you just go over to Twitter UK, you do. Pretty much you just don't go via the US branch. Yeah. Go to the UK and you're like, this is Fuentes' account. They're like, yeah, we permanent banned him. Banned. That's so Twitter UK has a different moderation staff that, like, acts on stuff. Uh, quicker, I guess. Uh, I don't. Or just takes I that stuff more seriously because I think European countries really don't like anti-Semitism. No, I I don't even think it's that. I think it's because I couldn't get to any American organization. Yeah. Oh, get- you contacted them yeah. and said that's him. Uh, yeah, because everyone was kind of also snitching on him. Yeah, they, they, they everybody they figured it out pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, well, wasn't. he hosts Spaces in his new account. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so, so everyone was just snitching on him. So then I just, after a while, when I noticed that nothing was fucking being done, yeah, I was just like, after a while, I was like, he, yeah. he, guys, go and then within like a couple hours. Uh, do you think there's anything when you're? Have you but you're saying the ADL, and, but to be clear, the ADL had nothing to do with it. The ADL <laughs> had nothing to do with it. Right. Make this 100% clear. Do you think a big organization that celebrities donate to constantly calling a platform anti-Semitic would hurt it, its ad revenue? I, again, I don't think the ADL has that much uh, power because even when so. you, I, I don't think it's managed that well. Mm. I, well, maybe I, I'm I, ignorant because I, I don't know anything that the ADL does. I know, well, like, they, they, they'll issue, like, do, press so, releases, Have you seen right? hate speeches on the rise? Have you ever seen anything that says hate speeches on the rise? And what, they give, like, a little infographic they're or the, something? Yeah, they're the ones putting that out. So, 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 so what's that she? Yeah, but is that, like, like, a lot of organizations put out these, like, Are you warnings. worried about anti-Semitism? Yes. Have you ever wondered where you got that idea? I think I got it from seeing what the shit in the Quenta says. Oh. I don't think I needed the ADL to make a little <laughs> graph about it. You think everybody works like that? I don't know. Yeah. I think you can. I think, honestly, let's be clear. I'm friends with a lot of Jewish creators. Seeing the things they say about Mr. Girl, <laughs> I went, wow, this anti-Semitism <laughs> is on the rise. <laughs> seeing some of the memes they made of that guy, I went, okay. okay I have a question. I don't want to forget it. Yeah. Um because I know, it seems like Nick Fuentes is I did not is need a, a little graph, bit, is what I'm... Well, yeah. the graph exists, if you want the it. graph's If you want to shove that graph in, you sure. uh, Do you think that Nick getting banned from everything, like, after a while, wears down on someone's brain and makes them more extremist? After a while? Because I've been banned, and every time I get banned from something, the hatred is really... Uh, uh, palp- it's uh, unquenchable, the amount of hate that I, I feel I, toward anyone. Uh, and you but have, I'm a lot you have older less of an than incentive Nick. to play by the rules but, at that point as well. That's true too. Well, yeah. Well, what's the reason you got banned though? What did you do? Oh God! Every single reason I've been banned. I got banned. My YouTube uh, account got banned because, well, for making fun of fat women. Mm-hmm. Um, that was making fun of uh, Tess Holiday. That was mm-hmm. one strike. Another strike was showing a bunch of uh, naked, uh, topless men piled on top of each other that they said was women. So they gave me a strike for that. And then the third one was, I said, uh, Kanye was in a fight with O.J. Simpson. Well, don't say it on here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, probably don't say it then. But, okay, okay that's what you know, O.J., the juice. Yeah. The juice. Right? I said O.J. He's Simpson. So Kanye he has a big the problem ju- with the juice. He's yes. like, the juice gets away with Mar- Yeah, you know, Okay, like I got that. I got a hate, stri- hate <laughs> well, speech so strike for that. Goes, Let's take a look at that <laughs> photo real quick that I got banned for. But, no. that, but that is actually, that's, that's actually just YouTube that is pretty much just, because YouTube is advertisers, all right. those things. Whether yeah. I agree with things or not, because I come from Europe, right? Mm-hmm. So in Europe, we have hate speech laws, and I'm kind of, I'm very European in that regard. You're much. pro the, those laws. Are you yeah, okay yeah. with those laws? Yeah, okay. so I mean, I'm very pro those laws. Kind of, and... We have to have those fucking laws because of what fucking happened in Europe, pretty much. So you understand why the German government is kind of like, what the fuck, any, anything. Uh, yeah, they're much. very protective. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seems I like mean, it's always coming back, you know? Yeah, I mean, Germany... But that's my question is, does the, the squeezing... Does the, squeezing it down yeah, it actually worse. do anything? I... I don't... Because based on talking with Nazis, because you really have to kind of understand how they think and what this kind of thing, because... I said, okay, I hate Nazis, right? Like, Nick Fuentes, I, I fucking hate that guy. But his followers, some of these people honestly are lost. They are. Like, I nearly kind of feel bad for them. They kind of mm. want a sense of community, all those things. And I feel like America, like, in a way, is weirdly, because America's so divisive, basically, mm-hmm. and kind of like, every, yes, even on the Barbie movie, she was fucking stupid. Yes, even turning that into that a whole. That was part of the reason why I hated it, why I brought it in, because it, it made people act like animals, yes. over, like tribalism and yeah, like and ideology did, was stupid. And, and, that, and that's kind of what I mean. So while in Europe, I feel like pretty much 
being French, even if I sound British, that I will talk to anyone. I just be like, oh, I disagree with you, fuck off. Or I either get a drink. But we, we're kind of more cordial. We're not like yeah. tearing each other apart. But we're less extreme, for example. Right. Like even our far right, they don't talk about abortions because abortion is legal, for example. Right. So the far right even is very different. That's the dumbest the issue right we here. have here. Um, well, it's, it's not religious it isn't in France. Uh, in yeah, France, you're saying yeah. it's not considered a religious issue? No, because you cannot mix in religion and politics in France. It's straight up illegal. Oh, oh that's interesting. I yeah, so, so, so pretty much this, this thing I'm wearing here, right? I could not go to school with this in a public school. Because it's a cross? Yeah, it's oh, sorry. Cross. Yeah, can... <laughs> <laughs> I've become Christian now. It's a funny it's angle. A it's a cross. It's a star of David. If you're not watching it, <laughs> but yeah, but in... oh, so much Christian, Christian guest guest now. Dick, I thought you were wearing it as like a joke, like a F you. It's an upside down one. Yeah, yeah. but ba- basically, yeah. It's, so religion isn't allowed. It's super secular. It is, it's outright kind of. Yeah, it's super frowned upon. It's like why? Well, are yeah, you it's, doing it's that? because when the French Revolution happened, it's kind of like fuck the church. They're taking our money. They're controlling everything, and then it's great. Pretty much, while in America, all these culture wars, it's just again, it's just demonizing everyone from every side. Because I very much believe in if someone fucks up, rather than just putting them out on blast or those things. If they could, if they Nick Fuentes and they just continue, right? Fuck him. Mm-hmm. But if they fuck up. Go and talk to them privately. Go and be like, hey, is this, yeah. this is where you fucked up, man. Maybe this is why it's offensive to me. Maybe this is why it's dangerous to me. Don't go out and call them publicly. Don't go out and try and do Don't a Don't shame them. Yeah. Yeah, because... That uh, entrenches them a lot. Yeah, because people also change throughout life. Like people in their 20s or teenagers are very yeah. different. Because they're teenagers which have said stupid shit or even anti-Semitic shit. I'm kind of like, I think they can change pretty much. Like I don't think we need to ban them forever. Or those things. That's why I guess I have a more empathetic way of looking at people and that's why I'm willing to kind of talk to everyone even people I strongly disagree with because yeah. I, I do think we can sign things in common and maybe I can help make them maybe less extreme or those things because me say for example I don't I don't like the manosphere for I don't I don't like like so many things which are kind yeah. of on what I consider you know the far right all those things but will I have a conversation with them privately probably I would pretty much just be like this is why this right. and that is kind of dangerous. I think please yeah. don't do this rather than trying like, unless they're, you know, trying to just be more and more controversial. But I think also a lot of these people also do want attention. They do mm-hmm. pretty much. So they, they just go to such... It's a lot of that. Yeah, they, they, they just go to such extremes. But the problem is not necessarily them. It's the influence which they have on young people. A lot of young people which aren't necessarily that smart pretty much. But that's something, again... The big organizations pretty much anti-hate no matter what. They're not really, they don't really know internet culture, don't really understand it, they don't. Yeah. yeah. And that's why Fuentes was able to spread so quick. That's why he's able to do all those things. And that's why it takes people like Vito, like all these small well, things. I don't know much. if I want to keep taking credit for this. Well, yeah, you yeah. already <laughs> took it. You might as well take it as hard as if possible. I keep getting monetized off No, I mean, it. is yeah. it troubling to you that Nick's banned? Because you used to not be banned for a long time. Oh, he I, could respond to everybody. So... so since since he got banned off Twitter, I received way less death threats, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. Oh yeah, his uh, followers have so his followers have really been coming at you over this Holocaust museum, right? Yeah, which, past week which or so. basically shows they're scared. It shows basically that kind of me also being in the space and doing digital yeah. things, video games, this and that. It shows that the Nazis. Well, because they want to reach young people, and you are yeah. reaching young people, of course, in the most obvious way possible, going into the video game. Yeah, yeah and then the thing is with me, the way I approach video games, I'm not approaching things, even the Light and Darkness, that, yeah. that game which I first launched, was received very well, like even in Saudi Arabia, right, which has no Holocaust education <laughs> what, whatsoever. Like, like, well, how did they? They had their own. They had a, a take on it specifically. Saudi Arabia. Well, it's 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 where it's finished the most, and where I get the oh. most messages from. And it's because I kind of tell a story. Right? I tell a okay. story. I'm not coming in. I'm basically telling people, "You're bad. You're this. You're that." I'm telling the story. I hope people connect to it. People connect to it. It makes them feel something. It makes them realize some things, and that's why. I sound like a fucking hippie right now, I do. You look like one. <laughs> yeah. Well. I, I, I do, actually, too. <laughs> I like it. It's a good look. Except for the banning all speech and stuff. It's very... Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's big for... Yeah. I am for banning all speech. Fuck. And, and, no. and now Nick Fuentes is going to take this. Yeah, don't, he don't is. give him that clip. <laughs> don't you wish that he was... Nick Fuentes was, like, a little bigger... 
to be like the boogeyman of anti-Semitism. He's such a little guy, you know. How I think could he's he... effective because he's a little guy? Is that you go? Oh, oh you... I'm not afraid of that little. Uh... I don't know. It's like it's funny. Look, we've said it on this show before. Nick Flanders has a great sense of humor. He's like a comedian. Like yeah, he's got that, good that, comic that, timing. That's why he yeah. works. And yeah, that's and, why and, he's so and that, effective. That's why I've told people, don't pretty much hear the fact, but don't turn him to this big kind of uh, scary figure. Mm-hmm. Make fun of that little dick. Just make fun of him very much. Yeah. Just, just kind of just. And continue. don't make fun of him when he's making it. Out. See, the problem I see, if yeah. we're talking about Fuentes' reputation, is like a lot of these like news places are like, he said he wants to, you know, have, you know. Kill Jews. Well, no, but like other stupid shit. Like he made some joke, like, oh, I want like a 16 year old trad wife or whatever else. I'm like, yeah, but he's joking. Like yeah. you're just boosting Who his doesn't? jokes at that point. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Nick Fuentes, look, he's an interesting. I'm not. I he's don't. Interesting. He now. is interesting. I think I mean, he's on the way out. I. I. I, I think. I think yeah. here's the problem. So we're talking about Jewish conspiracies, right? Yeah. 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 I think Nick Fuentes. The is Talmud. Good. That's a Jewish conspiracy. I don't like yeah. that one. When if anybody ever brings up the Talmud, I'm like, fucking, give me a break. Fucking stop. I mean, stop I mean that, that, that's that's the thing with with all these conspiracies in general. Like they they think Jews are so much more powerful this and that. And it's I know how to explain when you're actually Jewish. You just realize that. You just realize that. Pretty much uh, most organizations behind the scenes, it's kind of, oh, fuck, someone just said this. We Nothing can be done, pretty much. It's yeah. just a complete chaos behind yeah. the scenes. If there was a global Jewish conspiracy, you would be paid a bunch of money to be doing this. You wouldn't be I in, wouldn't be living sh- you wouldn't in, be in a one bed right now. You would not be in a shitty little podcasting you a, studio. You got a, a thing in Fortnite that's huge. But he's not getting paid for it. It's paid like for they did it, it as like a nice little token... Oh. A uh, gesture. I'm, yeah, I I'm, not, so. yeah, no, I'm not. And they've done it before, I'm not so it's kind of their thing. I even posted my credit score, which is 400. <laughs> it is. Okay, well, then there's definitely no <laughs> Jewish fake. conspiracy. Because That's a fake no, score. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I, I can even open it up. A Jewish now man I can, with a 400 right. credit score, you're not part of any conspiracy. Uh, so, do you think so, the Jews, the, the culture and the lifestyle in general, it sets you up for success? Where other. No. Like, you're not at all not better than. No, nah, I wish. Oh, I don't know, man. If no. if I could get white people to stop watching football so much, you know, that would be a and big win. Yeah, I've never banks. heard a, a Jewish guy scream at me about the way the Raiders yeah. did. Well, what if somebody comes to you and they say, I think there's a Jewish conspiracy because look at all the success Jews have had. That's only just what a, would, a couple What would you people, say, though? If, if, if yeah. you look pretty much in America, there is a lot of Jews pretty much compared to other countries. Sure. Yeah. But if you compare compared to all the executives and anything, look at the banks, for example. It's all the yeah. fucking Irish. And then you also have the Greek. <laughs> okay, have I'm not saying Irish. it's the Irish. No, no, no. I'm there with it's, you. It's not the I'm Irish don't control Irish, so things. That's fine. You get a pass. They don't, but that that's just how <laughs> fucking stupid it is. But the banking thing, where it com- you guys know where it comes from, right? Well, uh, it's because they were only the money lenders uh, yeah. weren't allowed to yeah, operate. Yeah, pretty much uh, the, the church to forced yeah. Jews pretty much to do money. But then Napoleon, when Napoleon came to power, he actually banned Jews from looking after banking. Yeah, he did to so kind of change the whole thing. But that's what I mean. All these dumb conspiracies are like from hundreds of years ago. At least I don't know, come up with something new. What about uh, Jews running Hollywood? Is that a conspiracy? I mean, it's kind of like the South Park episode where there's a lot of people. If if people Jews are really running Hollywood, right? I would. Be more successful. Uh, so I you would. gotta say yes. Well, the explanation, to one. The explanation <laughs> for that, though, is that Jews, you know, did vaudeville and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's that pretty much. Oh, Jews <laughs> came and like founded yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, that's a reason. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a And then once they were in charge of it, they're like, well, why would we give this up to anybody else? Yeah, why would okay, okay. Uh, Believe me, I, I'm glad they do because I don't want to watch I don't want to watch uh, movies about football and basketball all year long where it's guys having th- free throw contests with each other and then getting into an argument and having another free throw contest with each other. That's what it would be if white people ran Hollywood. I mean, it, and because it's shoes running Hollywood, instead we get the movie about stories. how they made the shoes <laughs> and the business deals for the basketball players. It's like, well, business. This is way more interesting than sports, and I'm like, it is, it is yeah, kind of more, it interesting, is more interesting. Yeah, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much. I mean, the thing, even if you look when Antimus was kind of rising, all those things, a lot of actors. If if it was really a thing where Jews controlled Hollywood, you had all the actors, you had everyone speak out, and no, nah, nothing happens. Even when Kanye, like, it took a lot of people after a while to kind of speak out, but all people yeah. kind of like just letting him do his thing, pretty much. I've met well, a lot of Jews. His bank account yeah. right away. 
A what? Then they they killed his Adidas deal right away. Yeah, but you know why? Adidas killed that deal because Adidas ties to Nazism was found at its its past (laughs) founding. So Adidas was kind of like like worried. They're like, listen, we already got some skeletons in our closet. Okay, all right. (laughs) (laughs) Their demo is very, uh, they're history buffs. What can I say? That's true. Yeah, so they kind of didn't have a choice because they're like, shit, everyone's now talking about our fucking history and this guy just praised fucking Hitler. So here's, kind of just here's no the problem choice. with Jewish conspiracies is I hear all the time that the Jews are running everything. Yeah. Every Jew I know is fucking poor and is not getting me in on the running things. Oh, I'm like, man, how come I can't meet one of these Jews who's like in charge of everything? Like with you, I was like, oh, he's got the Holocaust Museum in Fortnite. This guy's rolling and I don't and running. Going out for uh, potato pancakes after are you this. Slipping some. And then you come in here and you tell me you're not I, even getting a dollar for it. Yeah, and some paid content in there. Critics, yeah, what? Like, are you slipping in any paid content? Like, uh, nah. this, this door is. Is there any DLC? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everything's fully free. There's got to be like an exclusive like Jewish yeah. scam that's like twenty bucks. You got to get them to yeah, put I'm, that. I'm, in. I'm sure that will go really yeah. well. <laughs> Get a hiding from the Nazis emote and charge 20 bucks and all the money goes to you and some to survive. Well, there's no emotes allowed in the museum. Yeah, well, they can take the emote out of the museum. It's for later. Just one emote. Yeah. Like a million bucks. There's a bunch of houses. Andrew Tate can buy it before he goes to jail. Oh, guys, did you see what Andrew Tate posted? What did he post? I guess didn't see that. He, no, he deleted happening. it super quick. So, oh well, yes, I did. Yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the the valuetainment guy. He was all like, Jews, Christians, and Muslims should align against wokeness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. And then Andrew Tate pretty much posted a meme where it was a Mus a crusader and a Muslim guy, pretty much, you know, against a big head with a Jewish star of David. Yeah. She deleted. It. I'm like, well, that yeah, doesn't surprise me. So he's trying to say that the Jews are the problem. They're causing wokeness now? No, Wait it's a, a it was a meme where it's like everybody's fighting and there's like a, a very uh, you can uh, see exaggerated a Jewish stereotype, Jewish stereotype puppet mastering yeah. it. Mm. I was shocked. I think I, I did see that image that. now that you mention it. Uh, yeah, there's a le- there's one guy on the well, left, the one thing, guy on the I, right. I, I, I actually do think, I actually do believe, honestly, Andrew Tate, I mean, he's not an idiot. He, he saw that thing he did. He posted it and he's like, oh, fuck, kind of thing. But I do think, because yeah. at times during the interviews, he doesn't want to talk because people have asked him about Jewish stuff yeah. and he doesn't want to talk about it because I do think he probably has some views which aren't too great and that's why he doesn't want to talk about it. Well, also, if he denies it, he turns off a ton of his base. Like, it, yeah. it happens to me all the time where if I just don't, don't hate say the racist things constantly, oh, yeah. people yeah, they get are mad at you. angry, angry. It's you just, had Zerka on and Zerka like, kept using like slurs and you're like, well, dude, I'm on like stop. Patreon. Like, I could get booted. I just don't like it. I don't want to hear slurs yeah, all the well, time. Yeah, people yeah, listening yeah, at home just don't want to hear yeah, fucking slurs yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, because in, in the case of Zerka, because I know Zerka's been like kind of pushed where a lot of people think, you know, he's part of the whole new wave of anti-Semitism or those things. Because like, when I seem to like, use the N-word or that kind of stuff, like in public, I'm like, he acts like a 14-year-old how I feel. He acts like a 14-year-old boy in a man's body, pretty much. And I don't know, I just don't find that shit funny after. Like, I like controversial comedy. Mm. I do. Like, I think that sometimes it's funny, sometimes I, eh. But, you know, I'm not really for banning comedians or anything like that. Comedy is comedy, and when comedians fuck up, let them fuck up. Yeah. Well, we're getting but, banned. And when people like me get banned, all that's left is Zerka and the other end. And, and, that, and that, that, that's what that's too. what I think. That's <laughs> no, what but he can survive on like yeah. nothing. Kick, but, but, right? I can't. But, that, but that's what I think is kind of fascinating, like in a way. And, and maybe I'm going to get shit for this or not. But even when I notice the people kind of standing up to Fuentes, it's kind of these controversial comments. Because you want to say it again, Vito. So I keep on talking about you. So no, it's much. fine. I love it. But even Vito, Vito is he's a leftist, but he's still quite controversial. Yeah, he I'll is. say fucked up shit. So. You have all these people who are actually managing to stand up to Fuentes who are kind of, you know, maybe a bit too controversial for people, but I actually think they're the most effective against him. And, uh, well, because nobody wants their mom telling Nick Fuentes he fucked up. They want Ethan Ralph to tell Nick Fuentes he's a pedophile. And he hangs out yeah, with yeah. pedophiles. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like I've been, I've been paying attention to Ethan Ralph. Like, yeah. I have. Oh, it's been, hilarious. Yeah, yeah I've, 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 I've been sending to loads of, like, people. I've been like, look what the fuck is going on over here. Like, I actually think this might be the guy to fucking take him down. Oh, the, the ultimate way to take Nick Fuentes down is to go, well, you hang out with pedophiles. I, I, if I had to pick one, I would bet on Ralph, obviously. It's obviously yeah, and, and, and destroying America first from the inside. And I, have, I don't know much about Ethan Ralph. I've seen some kind of videos. Well, that, 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 he's got his own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he seems. Yeah, he seems. I don't know white. if I would exactly call him a <laughs> yeah. I've just seen of him. the Jewish community, but yeah, that's what I mean. He doesn't exactly. Yeah, well, Gabe Hoffman went on his show, and Ralph like 
uh, James Carville eviscerated him and his support for Israel, which it was amazing. And like more, a more devastating argument against, um, I don't know what they call it, but just like Israel as a political influence in mm. America, which is huge. Yeah. Um, well, that's more like a political thing to me. Yes. You, you know what I mean? So. Which is, now the worst part for me is, uh, because I hate the American banking system. It's fucked me over. I think it's fucked. It's fucking over every single person yeah, that, in America. That, that, that's funny enough. That's one thing which actually, again, people might not like this. I actually don't really ag agree with because we can't exact. I mean, you need people need to have access to banking and people can change again. It's different if it's like a fucking You're terrorist. Don't limit you, access. You, You're saying, you saying don't limit access to banking. Yeah. If, if, there, if, okay. it's, a, if it's a terrorist organization, right? Yeah. And that's funding like form of like violence. And like, fuck that shit. But if it's someone who said something fucked up, like you just can't. Like, so the, uh, in America, our, our system of like debt financing and taxation is so great that it's draining, in my opinion, it's just draining all the wealth of the country and giving it to banks. And coming at that kind of a problem at all in like a purely uh, financial, political way will attract the most vicious and, and uh, uh, outspoken anti-Semites, which guarantees that you, it will fail. We should, like, we should. I cannot, I can't talk about banks because I got all these fucking people going, yeah, say the JQ, say the JQ. I'm like, shut the fuck up for a second. Like, <laughs> we're trying to do something here. Just shut up. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but have you guys noticed like, something that's kind of interesting is that Bernie Sanders is pretty much one of the most, he's the most leftist yes. politician. And that's honestly, you know, coming from Europe or that, we're actually, we're very, like progressive array, like fuck the banks, fuck all this, fuck yeah. all those kind of things, and that's why again, it's these Jewish conspiracies are fucking stupid, pretty much, because you have Bernie Sanders. Yeah, they're the, counterproductive. Yeah, it, it, it just it makes no sense. And again, the CEOs, they're all they're not Jewish. That's the thing. They they aren't like Jamie Dimon. I don't think he's Jewish. No. Oh, oh did they can... always post these memes and they go, look, everybody in the government is Jewish. Yeah, they, and they, then you go, they, like, they found 20 people yeah, who found are 20 Jewish. people out of like the 8,000 government jobs. I don't want to get like, involved Everybody in all at that. Fox News is Jewish. <laughs> and it'll be like, I'll be like, that bitch hasn't worked there for eight years. That guy got fired last year. It's like, that's not true. <sighs> Yeah. Um, I think people go to the Jewish conspiracies because, all right, everybody everybody goes to conspiracies. The reason they're popular is that life is complicated, and everybody hates the fact that life is complicated, so they always yeah. try to reduce it down to the simplest fucking thing. There's right and there's left. You know, there's men and there's women, and sometimes they change. And they, Okay, well, yeah. whatever. Okay, and then they go, and Jews run it all, and that's all you need to know, and if anything goes wrong, it's a Jewish person's fault. That's the problem. That's the problem yeah. is that, no, there's a lot going on. You would do worse. That's Stop. what you should be saying. <laughs> yeah, they run it, but you would do a lot worse. You would do, I do a lot think, worse. I do want to say, in defense of Nick Fuentes, he's a very devout uh, Catholic, and I know he so. has love for everybody in him. I've heard him say sure. it. Sure. I want to see more. I hope I see more of that in the future. I don't want him to go away. Well, he's going away. He yeah, fucked up. He's... It's over. He can't. He's a I... person, though. So he can stop. He wants saying... the country to be better. He's just got to stop saying that stuff. <laughs> he's fine. He wants stop the saying that stuff. He, he wants better. the whole country to be like white and Christian, from what it sounds like, pretty much. That's not exactly Dick better. only values Nick Fuentes because Dick values chaos, and anybody who pisses other people off therefore has value in Dick's eyes. But, but I okay, did... you know what? Shut him down then. Keep going. Keep doing what you're We're doing. We're not going to shut him down. It's you. just like he's going to naturally. Oh, all you have to do is take what he says and go okay guys here's what he says he's a piece of shit we all know it yeah okay. you just seen show his videos he occasionally has a good zinger which i have admitted to uh-huh does not excuse the fact that he's out there like larping as a nazi and it's fucking cringe as hell it's, it's if anything it's cringe when you get up there on the stage and you got the bullets behind you he's the not doing a whole go, show about you oh, i'll tell you that I'm much i'm gonna make i'm gonna make a white nationalist <laughs> country and me and my buddies and i'm like you're not gonna fucking do anything this is like a larp it's stupid shut up uh, and you know what it is? And it's the same thing Zerka's doing. A lot of these guys are doing it. They're just playing the penis game. Yeah, Remember what, the what, penis game? What is Zerka yeah. saying? What, uh, what's his main thing? He's, saying, he's doing this. He's going, hey, let me, uh, you would be hanging out in class, and one yeah. kid goes, penis. And yeah. the other kid's got to say it louder, and he goes, penis. Yeah. And then the teacher's in the front of the room, and finally one kid just goes, penis! And they're all just trying to yell Jews as loud as they possibly can. Is that the penis game in France? No. What's penis in French? Pennies. Did you have the pennies game? Yeah, pennies. Did you ever yell something to fuck with the teachers? Something stupid no, and no, offensive? We, we never, like, yelled dick. Oh, you guys have respect. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> like we didn't it. have much respect, honestly. We're for French. We're constantly rioting. Yeah, you keep it uh, You keep it bottled up and wait to unleash it on the streets of old yeah. Paris. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Zerka, to me, is a guy who figured out shock humor 
way too wit late in life. But it's not even that funny. Well, there's a lot. Most people have really bad senses of humor, so. Like, he just wow. yells words. Uh, all I ever hear He's about these guys, all you guys I hear about these guys, yeah. is like, "Wow, can you believe he said that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, because yeah, he's a dummy who's trying to say something really loud and obnoxious to get attention." Yeah, it's not. F I don't know, man. Is how, he ever how does he even make money? Because he keeps on claiming he's he super not lying. He doesn't have know. the money. Yeah, yeah, but because what well, this is what I think is interesting. All these man influencers, manosphere, manosphere. They're always like, "I'm so fucking rich," and I'm like, "How yeah, do they're you all do guys make money?" Yeah, not they're not. Like Andrew Tate started the whole let's just lie about i'm a billionaire it's like you don't have no you're not yeah like, like, you're trump does not. that trump is a billionaire <laughs> see <laughs> you have to start telling at least some things that I are true if, you can't lie Trump's like this a billionaire anymore. he is a billionaire like in assets in assets maybe if he sold yes, if he sold trump in, tower that's what money is what's uh, trump tower valued at like half like, like, like most billionaires Does don't have that money trump in tower? the bank uh I think Nick Fuente. I think there's a good guy there. I think all these Stop, guys. I, I think there's all these. I, I think there's a lot of guys that. that you don't have to say that. <laughs> well, you can keep beating Hitler these guys. Love dogs. Keep, yeah, you know, I keep fucking beating those guys up and see what fucking happens. All that's happening is my Twitter engagement rates what go what up, what and I'm getting paid. So yeah, I'm absolutely <laughs> going to keep Fuentes, doing that. Like he has cozy. He has all his own shit. Like like mm -hmm. he's not. So, okay, so that's one thing which I do think is kind of funny. With just just in general, when I see like. Again, just from my comments, everyone's like, "You won't ban free speech." This and that. I'm like, guys, you still have your cozy. You still have that. Like, like, st yeah. stop fucking complaining. And also, you still have Rumble too. He's coming back to Rumble. He's still on Rumble. And he and he was on Valuetainment. He was yeah. pretty much yeah. like got free speech. <clears throat> and of course, he was more uh, contained and all those things. So he's 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 not getting banned. He, he needs to stop. He needs to stop playing himself as a victim. That's the thing. Oh. These anti semites uh -oh. keep on playing themselves. <laughs> As the victim, they keep on again thinking it's the ADL is They're taking They're gonna have a memorial in Fortnite next. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna get a job at the ADL, and then I will have the power. Okay, what's your what's your problem? Dick, you? wait, was there any other uh, Jewish conspiracies you wanted to go over? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've gone pretty I, deep. I, I, I think we've done kind of the main ones, and <laughs> okay. Nick Fuentes is a dick. Yeah, that's the main takeaway. Yeah, is that uh, me and Luke are fighting bravely against uh, Nick Fuentes apparently. And it's only and, us. Uh, it's only us and no one else. <laughs> and that's what's important. And we're not being secretly funded. And after the show, you got to check out my brand new You guys got to get some money. Contact F Gabe Hoffman. Get some you gotta money. Get, you got to get Epic. You got to get some money. Tell Epic to give you like some, some swag at least. Have him send you like a jacket. Well, j j just, just allowing me to just do this thing is just amazing. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I would say one thing though. Listen, f the Nazis kind of going after it pretty much. It yeah. just kind of really proved my point, and it actually... It's helped elevate it, and now everybody knows about it. Well, yeah, because now it's like on international news, all those things. So if anything, like, I mean, they kind of showed the need for it, they did pretty mm, much. So, yeah. But again, they probably invented the whole conspiracy. They'd be like, look, what am I like? You guys did that. Thank you. I will say... I want you to think about Dick's idea for a tiny Holocaust museum nope. inside of a Holocaust inside museum. Inside the Holocaust museum, and we can set we can set it up. We can like put it you on us and secretly down. get it, bring it in, and plant it there. <laughs> My problem, Dick, is knots. 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 When you knots? tie a knot. Oh, okay. You know, or like, let's put it this way: you ever wearing like sweatpants? Yeah. Or like, yeah. I'm it, wearing them right now. Okay. They're just sawed off. Do you have the kinds that have like the knotted, you know, uh, the, I get it right here? Yeah, right. Okay. You're looking at it. Yeah. Okay. But then sometimes it gets loose, even though you knotted it perfectly to be the okay. exact amount of length. Okay. It starts getting loose, and then your pants start slipping down. Okay. And then you got this knot, and it's tied too, it's knots tied too tightly where you're trying to undo this knot so that you can retie it. And I'm there mm. on the target, and I'm fiddling with my pants, untying this knot, and some mm. ladies looking at me. You guys want a beer? No, I'm good. Anything? I'm good. All right. And I, it's you the, want your smart water that you brought? I'll get my smart water <laughs> okay, later. Sorry, it's ahead. upstairs. The point is, when you get that knot, and it's so tight, and you're like, how am I going to undo this knot? Yeah. And it's just a huge pain in the ass. It's a huge waste of time. When you get your food delivered from the, the Chinese place. you're like, place. am I going to have to break my nail? Yeah. Am I going to have to get pliers to get this When you have to go knot? get like a knife to undo the little loop And then you have the to knot. take your pants off or you're going to risk stabbing yourself in the balls. Yes. Yes. It's the biggest problem in the universe. It's the biggest problem in the universe. Yeah. When they come, when your food comes from the thing, and you're like, did you really have to tie the bag that tight? And then you're like, I might as well just I'll rip. Just tear the bag open. Yeah, and then you just rip through the bag. And then I can't throw it away because I fucked up the bag. Exactly. So I have to take it individually and be all careful. Yeah. 
knots tied too, too tightly, tightly yeah. are the biggest problem in the universe. Mm-hmm. To knots on, like, pants? Pants. Pants, and shoes. Food containers. Shoes. Shoes, undoing. I tie them too loosely because I don't want it to be too tight. Yeah. So then it comes untied. It's a lot of clothing related knots. Yeah. Or like I've had a sweat you ever have those sweatshirts that has like the hood and it's got the little the pulley string if you want to yeah. pull the hood closed. Yeah. But then the knot the knot's not big enough and it starts it traveling. It gets sucked in inside. You have to untie it to put it back through. Right. And now the knot's trapped in there because you, yeah. you can't grab at it. Yeah. Knots stick. Knots. Yeah. And they never teach us in school. They only teach you, like, one or two types of knots. And then later on in life, you learn that, like, fishermen have access to, like, thousands of different types of knots. I hate those. Every time I see, like, a poster of all the different knots that fishermen tie, yeah. like, why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> yeah, but what if they're better? I want to know. That's why I yeah. think, go, oh, fuck I think it's, you. It's, you know, I'm sure a fisherman never has a problem with his fucking drawstring of his sweatpants. It's always yeah. a perfect shipman's hitch with a U-bend. Mm. And he just, you know, loops it in and ties it around. It's lack of knot knowledge. It's knots that are too tight, knots that are too loose. Right. Knots that you just can't. And then you go, should I double knot it? And then you got to undo the double knot. Yeah. Knots. Or your girlfriend asks you to, like, tie a dress or something. Mm -hmm. You just tie this. Like, uh. You tie a balloon to a little boy's. Can't you have like a clasp or something? <laughs> a little boy's what? A little boy's hand around oh. the, the wrist. What else am I going to tie the balloon to? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm sure I don't know. What's on your torrenting history? And then the, the kid's fucking around with the, the rope and the knot comes undone and his balloon flies away. No, you got to do like one little tiny loop and then you loop it through. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Knots. It's a big problem. Knots. Okay. That's my problem. Good problem. Thank uh, you. Luke, uh, we're going to do voicemail. I don't know what your schedule is like. Usually we do voicemails and read super chats, but... Uh, I'm good just if, hanging yeah, out. Yeah, we'll be okay. for like another... All right. So these you won't be able to hear. Maybe hold the cup up to your ear, and then you can hear the voicemail. Yeah. That'll help. All right. Let me see here. That's a lot of voicemail. Well, those are some <laughs> old ones. People, do people send angry voicemail? Often? Mostly. Oh, yeah, they, they hate me. They hate yeah. Dick. They always tell us what we've done wrong. Guys, don't forget to vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. And don't forget to sign up for the Patreon at patreon.com slash biggestproblem or backed out by slash biggestproblem. Okay. We're almost a top 200 podcast on Patreon. Can oh, yeah, you get us it? up there. Get, get us it up there. there. Oh, all, you guys who let your, uh, right. all you guys who let your memberships lapse. Get the fuck. Get on top of it. Yeah, stop what letting you your payment for? run out. I'm sick. I'm sick of this. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Dude, seriously? Biggest problem in the universe? It is, in fact, being disabled, just as Dick was. So I was pushing down the trash, hand went through an old cookie jar, severed 11 tendons, two oh. nerves, artery oh. in the vein. You know what? You know how life difficult, you know how difficult life gets? Whatever you can't jerk off. Whatever, like how Dick said, you can't even take a bag of food and a receipt at the same time. Yeah. Having to reach over with your left hand oh, to change God. shift in your car when you're trying to drive. It's so annoying. You can't work out. You can't do anything. Everyone looks at you like you're some kind of a weirdo whenever you, you're not using your right hand to do anything in public. It's like, no, stop judging me, please. I'm injured. I'm disabled. Yeah. I'm handicapped. Yeah. This is bullshit. I'm not even getting paid for this. What? You got to get disability of some sort. Some disabled folks Affleck. are out there getting money. They're fat. Yeah. And they claim that they can't walk. You gotta get that fat I can't disability. use my right hand. Oh, God. I'm, not, I'm, I'm the one paying for all of my shit. What is happening <laughs> in this society? Yeah, what's society, man? So his hand went through a cookie jar? I guess. And he severed a bunch of tendons. Hopefully, it's repairing I itself. I guess he got it sewn together. It's a lot of tendons. That's a lot of tendons. One time I broke my arm, I was at an a improv comedy thing, and one of the guys on my team had, uh, he had some kind of super cerebral palsy where he couldn't use one arm, mm. and I was just complaining about my broken arm, and everyone was like, oh, wow, and he goes, yeah, it must really suck to not be able to use it. Oh, man, I'm sorry, I'm talking about it too much. Uh, uh, you dick. Uh, okay. 
This is contrarians. I don't know what that says. Hey, JK Vito, my biggest problem is fact contrarians. Fact contrarians. Where you give them like a stat or something, and then like no matter what, they'll be like, well, that's not the case all the time. Well, that's not the case all the time. So let's say to the episode 100 spectacular, and you brought up like the drive time of like guys drive 60% more than women or whatever. Yeah. And I'm sitting here because. Just saying, like, what the fuck? Like, 60,000 miles is nothing. I drive for my job, so I drive a lot more than the average person. Yeah. Um, and I'm just sitting here like, okay, if I was a stupid person, I would say, well, that's not true because I drive a 1,000 miles a week, even though that that's not how averages work because I'm not retarded. If that makes sense. I don't know. It's like whenever you give, like, a fucking back or something or something. Yeah, like, that's, okay, uh, it's that's, exception to the rule, people, where you go like, well, I have never experienced that. It's like, well, yeah, it's not saying everyone's going to experience that, you know? I think it's a kind of IQ test where they can't imagine, like, averages. Right. What do you think where about you go, that? Detroit is the most dangerous city, and they go, well, I went to My Detroit, there. It's fine. and nothing happened. And yeah. it's like, that's fucking irrelevant to the stat. I used to think they're fucking you with me. You don't even need to mention that at all. Uh, yeah, I used to think they're just fucking with me, but now I think it, they just can't imagine uh, People believe their own experience is all of the experiences. Okay, here's one about eBay. Hey, Dad, hey, Vito. The biggest problem in the long. universe is eBay <laughs> listing prop policy. This better be good. So I'm trying to sell a thing for like 10 bucks. I'm just trying to get rid of it. Um, I put it up for auction and I set like, oh, you could either, or you could like bid to buy it now or whatever. Uh huh. So, already losing uh, me. I get an offer for like <laughs> uh. somebody matching it and then I get an offer for somebody to buy it for $5 more. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and then all of a sudden, for some reason, uh, a different guy places a bid <laughs> for ten dollars, and that somehow like deletes the cut it, cut it, guy's cut it. Right. Come on, <laughs> no one gives a shit. Just a, a voicemail, quick to the point. A guy bid on my thing, yeah. then another guy bid on my thing, and here's how I feel about What's it. The fucking policy. I don't need the man. entire fucking item history of your yeah. eBay item. Uh huh. You're killing me. Okay. Video games are not volition. Oh yeah, this is an anti. Oh, so one. this was a point I brought up on the previous show, which I think uh, retarded point. No, I think gamers now are more unified. Or I think people are unified more along their hobbies and interests and political you beliefs. You said video games are a religion. Video games are, well, yeah. I think essentially they're I mean, a religion. You're doing what the voicemail guy did, like this build-up of, like, He yeah, wasn't yeah, here yeah. for it, so he doesn't know what he said. He, we weren't there for the fucking voicemail Okay, we'll just fucking play it! Glad to see Sean on the show. Great show. But Vito, but you, know. you really think that video games are equivalent to religion now? Yes. Have people killed other people over video games? Absolutely. Maybe a couple, <laughs> but not millions of people, okay. you fucking idiot. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. <laughs> Terrible point. <laughs> Terrible point. It's a good point, and you're just <laughs> lying about it being about. Have, have people killed people over video games? Absolutely. Yes. Where the fuck does that happen? Like a couple people got swatted? Uh, <laughs> people kill for religion. That's what they do. Not for video games. Horrible, horrible take. Horrible. I think that I could make the argument that these mass shooter guys who are going in these buildings and killing everybody, it's because they're worried that the modern whatever society is, gonna is coming down and going to take away their, their video games. Part of it, yeah, that they're going to okay. they're going to maybe you are worse than the ADL and subjugate them. Uh, and I I think we had that craze with the Clintons. I don't think we have that craze anymore. I think that people are inspired to violence because they feel that their way of life is being encroached on. One of those most obvious ways of life. Is, is video games? Well, they don't want their they don't want anybody touching their video yeah. games. Are they uh are they getting married under fucking a Pac-Man arcade game? Is that is there any other facet of life that's I mean, I've seen a lot of nerd, kind of I've seen a lot of nerd weddings with fucking Zelda cake toppers or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, yeah. So you lose that argument basically too. God. <laughs> it's basically God. I mean, what would be better it's, if they all worship like Zelda and stuff like that? Yeah. Maybe you should create a new religion. Oh, yeah. I'm working on it. Game Church. It's going to happen. Game Church? Where does yeah. that rank on your projects list? It ranks right below my magazine that we have to do <laughs> with Mr. Carroll. <laughs> okay, last one. I don't want to do Super Chats. <laughs> Why has this got to be the last Peter. one? <laughs> Shut how up. Do you, how do you consider 
consistently fuck up the weight loss thing. Shut up. Just stop fucking eating it's hard. all this garbage. Stop it. Oh, it's hot out. I need to drink uh, 200 grams of sugar. It's <laughs> a Diet Coke you got right there. Zero sugar. Oh, oh, oh. Zero sugar. Oh, I think I need to drink more I water. I got too cocky, okay? I got too cocky. <laughs> I got cocky. All right. I thought the Ozempic was doing all this work. But then you weren't taking and it. And I wasn't taking it, it for like a month, out. so I fucked it up. Yeah. Okay. Because I lose track of time. Look, I've been busy with other stuff, okay? But I'm on the wagon. Yeah. Everything's great. I'm going to go home, do some cardio. Just stop drinking Mountain Dew. I'm, I'm you're good. good. Yeah. Do these voice chats, do they mostly go after you? I've just yeah, mostly, nice, yeah, yeah, mostly. I I'm try to bring in anybody well, that's just his on me, audience is a bunch of right wing uh, leaning knuckle dragger morons, and I'm over here fighting for you know truth and yeah. science. And <laughs> See, this is why they go after him. Yeah. Liberty and Barbie. Yeah, exactly. And Barbie, which was a great movie, and everyone should watch my review on YouTube. Thank I heard you. your uh, your debate with Destiny of the Barbie. That was. Oh yeah. What was it about? It was about free. You were trying to tell people that you were a free speech. Oh yeah, that I'm guy. an actual free speech absolutist. Yeah, but you're. Because uh, I actually know what free speech is. Well, Hearn gets really mad when I point out that very obvious fact. And then I learned, but what Destiny. The going on but then here? I learned Look Destiny has the. Uh, oh, is it not loading for some reason? I don't know. Uh, uh, we're gonna try and load the super chats. Activity. It's like not working. Let me see if I can bring it up on my phone. YouTube's been having some weird issues lately. I can see them here. Yeah, but we can't we gotta <laughs> be able can't to see all here. of them. We can't just see some of the super chats. Uh, in the meantime, guys, don't forget, now is a great time to re-up your pledge to patreon.com slash biggest problem. Yeah. Uh, it is the place to be. See all oh. super chats. Can you see it? No, dude. It's like it's not showing them. Are we are we canceled? I don't know, Did guys. If anybody uh, knows how to look up super chats outside of the YouTube platform, neither me nor Dick. Here, I can see him here. Okay, that's good. But I is think that, I don't know if it's no, all of them. That should be all of them. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's good. No, it came in at uh, one p.m. Is that right? Fifty four. Those are old ones. No, here. No, these are right. I remember okay. this one coming. Maximize in. Okay. the screen so I can read them. Maximizing. Over. There we go. There. Okay. So starting from Raj. Yeah. Sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. Raj Gandhi for five. Biggest problem in the universe. Vito got me rock hard last time with talk of Ashley Babbitt edging me with a heroic policeman, then blue balled me with no gunshot noises. I wonder if that's an old one. Coup for five. Thank you for the best podcast in the universe. Hope this makes up for the last show. Thanks for not killing yourselves. That's nice. John Riffs for 10. Tonight's guest blocked me for asking if there was an Anne Frank skin to tie in with the Holocaust Museum. My great uncle died in the Holocaust, by the way. He would have taken issue yeah. with the museum. Yeah, no, he, he he's definitely real. He is that guy. <laughs> at least you he got fell 10 out bucks of a guard tower. You're going to have a couple trolls in there tonight. Yeah, at but, least you uh, got 10 bucks from it. Well, Ryan Dunn for two wants me to talk about something called Beef Airlines <laughs> because he's trying to trick me. Richard, send me my There's card a lot of game. inside jokes. There's okay, a lot of inside ahead. jokes. Don't worry about it. Slurp for 500 yen. Biggest problem in the universe is blue balls. Thanks for the long wait. Love the show. Smooches yeah. for Vito from one pet O to another. Brits man for five. Dick, I'm also going to Greece this holiday and wanted your recommendation to travel around. Is it better to fly or TBF via Oh, cruise? that was a close one, Brits man. One. Good one. That was a good, good one. one. If, they, Cl- if they make him say to be fair, then we play a sound clip of him saying that he sucks cocks. Yeah, I have a sound. Trying. Somebody sent me a sound clip. I have to remember to clip it for you. What is it? Something about you sucking off a dog. Uh, we'll see. I haven't listened to it. We'll see if it's funny. Yeah, it's kind of. I don't know if people would want to hear about. Oh, but people want to hear me say a thing about cocks. Men's cocks. Yeah, that's. Well, you did do that. Mm. But no one wants to hear about a dog getting their <laughs> cock sucked by a man. Clap trap and destroyer for two. More like the latest problem in the universe. Okay, shut up. JJ for two. This is a professional operation. Dumb username for two. Dick and Vito fusion dance made Luke. Mm. <laughs> he is a kind of a combination sure. of the two of us. Clap trap for ten big dollars. Weekly money gives smooches for Richard, Vito, and Luke. Thanks, nice. Clap trap. Uh, oh, before we get into this, Luke, do, is there anything else you want to promote? Let us know uh, anything going on. Nah, I hate Nick Fuentes. I hate Nick Fuentes. How are you going to top this? Yeah. In How Holocaust you top the Holocaust awareness? Oh, put it in Diablo. No, that's not a Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> There's really no other game. You know what? Yeah. Super yeah. Bowl. Halftime. Super Bowl. Stick it in the Super Bowl. Halftime, halftime Holocaust time. Museum. <laughs> what, you know what's actually interesting? You guys are mentioning that, so I'm pretty sure you've seen in Los Angeles. Have you seen those big signs? Oh, what, like the billboards? What do you mean? So there's, We've seen signs. So, uh, yeah, of course. But, uh, but So basically, th there's like a sign where it's, it's basically right on my street, and it's like... It's only been seventy five years since the Holocaust, and I'm just yeah, I've oh, seen yeah. that group. And, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm just kind of just you know getting my food and just eating, and I'm and I'm very active in the space, and I yeah. really care mm -hmm. a lot. And I'm just like, why, why the fuck is that? I just want to go get fucking food, pretty much. And so that kind of type of thing, I think, is highly in, ineffective. Yeah, it's, like it's just that's the kind of some of those are like anti antagonistic. They are that. That's, like the that, one is like, has anybody ever shot up your church? It's like, wow, I don't... Was, I saw one on the way here. That's the right I, messaging, guys. I, I actually guys. saw one on the way here, and again... Yeah. And that that's that's what's, again, interesting. So most Jewish people, we, I mean, majority, I say a large majority, we fucking hate those things. Yeah. But we do. So again, it's just a couple crazy people. It's too people. confrontational. Yeah, yeah, it's a couple crazy people kind of doing the thing. Because again, most yeah. Jewish people just want to live their lives, and they just... Yeah. That's what I mean. That, that's, when you're eating a cheeseburger, you don't want a Holocaust museum. Exactly. But if there was yeah. a smaller, more concise Holocaust museum. Inside Captain of Blackbread for five. Guys, follow Luke on Twitter, at Luke Bernard. Uh, great, great guest. I hope we can have you back sometime. Clapping Blackbread for five. I still want on the show, Adam from Houston, downfall guy. Great. Uh, send us a message, I guess. Carlos Moengo for two. I'll pay for DLC to play as the other side. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. The Real Hydro PX for five. Vito, why you never exposed your cack like Nick Ricada? Come on, man. Pet O needs you to expose as much as you can. Does Nick Ricada have uh, cock photos out there? No. I don't think so. I come buckets for two. Vito comes buckets. Masterson filled a thimble once. Great. Righty tighty 91 for two. Love the show. God bless Vito's weight loss journey. <laughs> it's going great. You're going to miss the next great. one. I'm not going to miss the next one because I'm drinking Diet Coke and water. Lord Pepsi for five. When folks suggest I leave LA or are perplexed and ask why I stay, I say it's an exciting hell. The biggest problem is weak as males, a la Verga. All right, JJ for two. Whatever Vito Torrance would reveal, he's a monster. They're not mm -hmm. monstrous. All right. So who's the uh, wo woman that you're? It's, it's like there's like okay, there's like you can't even come up with one. It's a you bunch. Had the of, whole show to think about. It's a about bunch it. of like BDSM stuff. All right, that's yeah. BDSM now. All right. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> Whatever. I hate you guys. The trans lady saying not stuff like what she's saying. No, it's not just that. There's like, you know, it's a whole... I download... It's the whole site. You she's get like, the whole site. You're never going to finish your comic. Well, yeah, there's some of that. Yeah. I, I got to pay custom for those. <laughs> <laughs> right. I hate you guys. <gasps> oh. JJ for two. Uh, we already did that one. Pop quiz for 1999. Reveal Vito's search history. There no. you go. You got yeah. it. JJ for five. The hentai guys deserve money even more. They work. I give money to the hentai guys. All right. Just sometimes, you know, like I want the whole thing in my archives in case they delete their profile. You got to get my fucking archives. So I set up. I have all the I fucking look, right. I shouldn't download I porn. Have. There's no reason. I never look at half the shit I download. I just, it's fun. Former artist for five. Vito, there's tranny hookers on Santa Monica Bull. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> How did that get through I this don't slur know. filter? I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, I know there's hookers out there. Thanks. Yeah. Goaty McGoatface for 10. I like my coffee. I like my women. Black, bitter, and I prefer it to. Oh, he almost yeah. got me. He almost got me to say it. Dumb username for two. Dick, you'd enjoy Enchanted more than Barbie. I never saw that. I didn't see that either. Uh, it's Psycho better. Bite for five. Nice hat, Vito. Uh, nice hat, Vito. Did you know if you rearrange the letters in Dipper Pines, you can spell ripped penis? I did not know that. I am a fan of uh, Gravity Falls, and that is what my hat is from. Joe Cool for five. I thought the Barbie movie was actually closer to the SpongeBob movie. To add on to the uh, hookers, yeah. there's a bunch on Figueroa <laughs> heading to downtown. L Thanks for all the hooker updates, everyone. <laughs> Beard Hair Flosser for a big $20. Hey, boys, a deeper look at ISOM actually revealed several notable enemies, including critical thinking readers and starting at the beginning. Thanks for letting me help out with the back bye bye content, Dick. Yes. Absolutely. Darius Randakovic goes for five. In ISOM 3, our hero will be beaten down to near death from all the disrespect, but he will unveil his greatest power yet. Oh, yeah. DMCA strikes. We got to get into those next week. All of Eric July's misbehaving. Uh, on all of Eric, Riley, Eric's man. streams, go post the rabbit emoji. Yeah, go, go post. hammer everything Eric does. 
with hammer rabbit with rabbit emojis. emojis. Twitter. Don't uh, let him escape YouTube. from Buster Baxter. Yes, the rabbit, little he- rabbit head. Hit him. Hit him hard. Hit him fast. Keep hitting him. If you feel bad, hit him twice as hard. He should not have struck Riley. Yeah. Uh, we got to we gotta save Riley. Uh, I, I, I like Natrekt for five. Thank, Thank you. you. Jayhawks, Dayx for five. Uh, so the Kens in Barbie are basically a society of Merlogics. Yes. Yes. They are weird autistic toys. Just Elbin for five. Vito scrambling to defend the Barbie movie structural faults to own more on conservatives makes me sound like an ice some lover. You can have faults in a movie and still have a good movie. Just because it wasn't but executed it can't be great. perfectly. I still think it's great. Because the great parts are super great. It's just so disappointing. Okay, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a perfect movie, except for the song that his mom sings that they cut out whenever they do the th- uh, play it on TV. The mo- When the people are in bed, you mean? Cheer what? up, Charlie. Oh, that's fine. No, that song sucks. It's a complete it's a drain on the movie. song, though. Structurally, it doesn't mean anything. Structurally, it's a waste of my time. Oh, okay. And uh, it's still, it's still, I would say, that is an excellent movie. Uh, just don't listen to that song. Dumb username for five. You posers have no right to speak about Barbie. Tell you watched all 28 animated Barbie movies. Conservative men love them. I think there's yes. more than 28. <laughs> there's like a billion of those. King N64 1994 for a big 10. Dick and Vito, any advice for getting into the job market after spending 100K on a social money media sync uh, with the tagline of the most racist instance on the Fediverse? TBF, I hear e begging works. What? Uh, is, oh, is, is this that a, a thing post that happened? Joke? Are we making fun of Post? Yeah, I think Graf is done with Post. He should have never defederated me. Did Graf spend money on Post? Yeah. To the tune of a hundred grand? Probably. Well, he wasn't going to make any money off that. How was he going to make any money off that? I don't know. Freedom and stuff? Ah, uh, freedom. He could have made money, but he, he chose to uh, spurg out in a number of ways. Fair enough. Gun Ranger 5, Dick, send Vito to the Sacred Sons Convergence in LA in October. Do you know what that is? I have no idea what that is. That is. Dumb username for five. <laughs> Jewish people aren't paying Luke. They don't pay anyone. Oof. That's a pretty good I know one. that's not but, true. <laughs> they're yeah. paying each other. You got to help each other out. Jared, for two Canadian dollars, says Jews rock. Only yeah. for two dollars? I agree. Okay, so this is in red, which I believe uh, that makes, makes it 100 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Give me a drum roll, then. Meta Soul Pus for ARS 2000. It might be 100. Hey, Vito, I don't know if you noticed your PayPal, Eric July, latest. There's no PayPal. It's his pal. Oh, your pal, Eric July. Latest. He's just money all the time. <laughs> Shut up. I'll start over. I don't know if you noticed your pal, Eric July's latest series of Twitter posts. What's up with his obsession of hiring hot Brazilian women as artists for his comic? Looks like the guy is following some sort of trend. Love the show, guys. Best part of my week. Yeah, he got like a blonde. Well, here's why he's paying Brazilian ladies. Cheap. They're cheap. Yeah. He's probably paying him 80 bucks a page. Yeah. Which makes no sense. It's a $4 million. Did you see he came at me? He's got some guy in his ear telling him I'm not paying my artist. Like some weird guy's really like worried about what I'm paying. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not paying him like X amount because he also I didn't want to like tell him, but I'll just say it now because he keeps repeating that I'm not paying the guy. My artist is getting a percentage of the profits. Oof. So that's why he gets paid. It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal for me. Yes. Yeah, specifically. For you. Yeah. He's getting extra money. Like yeah. it's gonna work out fantastically for him. Yeah. And I'm like, Eric, just don't accuse me of not paying my artists any money, because what percentage are you giving them of this four million dollars? None. You're spending it all on warehouses and U line vans, you or whatever the fuck, runner vans. Yeah. Okay? I'm paying my guys. Don't don't you worry. They're also saying I'm going to use, like, oh, Vito's going to use the lowest paper stock, and he's going to ship it. And they have these weird fantasies that I'm, like, a completely yeah. incompetent businessman now. Well. I'm going to sh- I'm gonna print it on the same <laughs> that doesn't paper make Eric everybody competent. uses. I'm going to ship it in a nice cardboard <laughs> mailer. Okay? Like, why do you live in a fan? I'm not going to spit on yeah, every issue of the comic. That's why they pick on you, because they can pick on all these things, and they never mention me, because I don't have anything to pick on. You're right. You sh- I should have never made a comic, because I'm now all I hear about. Yeah. Well, oh well, we'll see. Uh, as I told people, at least my comic won't have a giant spelling error on the cover, uh, but we'll dig into that. Wait, maybe let's on see. the. <laughs> Do you want to look at that right <laughs> nah, now? I'll see we'll it next week. Next week. Uh, Jay Thompson, thirteen twenty-seven for two. Invite Nick Fuentes as a guest. It would be funny if he's in town. <clears throat> Uh, maybe we'll consider it. Dumb username for two. What's the difference between free speech and jokes? None. 
Uh, sure. Well, in America, there's yeah, in America. Yeah. Dixon bots for two. Thank you. Dixon can post for five. Why can't people tell Zionism apart from Jews? That is a uh, biggest problem in the universe. Is people like not being able to separate Israel? Well, Zionism, in their mind? like Israel. Well, yeah. Zionism is is about Israel. It is. So that that's yeah. why again, when people use the term, I've noticed one thing: when people use the term Zionist nonstop and it's not about Israel. Then, then they're actually yeah because yeah. I feel like I can't say Zionism because it's it's uh, anti-Semitic but I don't think it's supposed it's to be it's not supposed to be but they've poisoned it's, the term because everybody used it incorrectly it, yeah I say yeah. for example I had a guy look at the big nose on that Zionist and you're like what the fuck no you, stop <laughs> why do you say these <laughs> well that's what things. they say no no yeah. but basically like, one example like, I kept on getting to a fight with a guy from Kotaku I did and he okay. and his entire Twitter feed was pretty much Zionist, the Zionists God, don't like Zionist. my PS5 review like that that's how oh, ridiculous yeah. he was pretty much. Didn't game journalists also try to like give you shit about like making a Holocaust game or something? No, it was mostly kind of anti but he's been fired by Kotaku now. So. Yeah, so fuck him. Yeah. Do you think it's interesting that like an overwhelming majority of American Jews support Israel? I don't know if that's the case. Yeah, it's like it's like uh I th- I ninety eight percent. It's cr- it's really high. Um, I, I get it, that, but it's that, like... But supporting uh, in what way? What? Like, support yeah, its that, right that, to that, exist? That, that, that's kind of Funding them. I don't know. Giving them money? I, yeah. don't, I don't really know if, if that's the case, but I do know one thing. That, let's, let's be honest, right? When people call for the destruction of Israel, right? of course mm-hmm. anyone would be like, what the fuck? So even Vita, right? Yeah. If, if I was like, hey, yeah. I want Italy to be destroyed, what would you say? I'd say, hey, my, mama mia, what are you doing here? So I, I think right. it's because people yeah, take, I get it. It, yeah. take it so extreme. I think... Most American Jews support Israel's existence, because its country exists, pretty yeah. much. When it comes to that thing, any time in politics, you'll see even Bernie. He's constantly fighting. He's like, I don't want to spend money. Yeah. Everyone's constantly fighting on it. So I'd say there's just this stereotype of thinking, because honestly, even when they ran the polls, right, among most American Jews, it's all about America. It is. Israel's like kind of something very much behind. But the right wing, the conservatives are more kind of, obsessed with as well as they are well we oh, can, yeah you know, uh that's crazy too how many just like middle middle america christians well, are super like give them everything well, you, we you, gotta you, arm them you, they're fighting the devil well wow well yeah the, the relationship that's not between, Jews doing that that's you guys <laughs> doing that well it's, it's because there's this thing with i think evangelicals they believe pretty much that once you have all jews in israel christ will come back yeah Oh, uh, so well, there's some true. in it for them. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So that, I've seen the, the Left Behind movies. I know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, I, I, I get it, but it's it's so weird that they have to that American Jews have to kind of get lumped in with everything Israel does. Well, yeah, that that that's again another annoying thing because basically on the far right we have everyone who's like we control everything, you know. On the far left, everyone basically blames us for Israel, and we just kind yeah. of like. Uh, it's a, it's a foreign government, it, but it's it's ridiculous to say blaming again. I'm just going to say veto, mm. blaming veto for Obama's drones. Yeah, oh, I 100 percent blame veto for Obama's drones. I mean, I was there, you know, helping out. I don't know if I get 100 percent of the credit, but uh, fair enough. Yeah. All right, Jay Thompson. He's, he's happy Ashley Babbitt got shot, though. Well, Ashley Babbitt was a terrorist. <laughs> As was all of the January 6th uh, yeah. insurrectionists. Yeah. Oh, okay. they're going to nail Trump to the wall. Jay Thompson for two. Let Fuentes come on and defend him. Oh, he can defend himself. What, what is he going to say? I mean, I he didn't really want to kill him. He can the, come on, yeah. yeah. Come on if he wants I mean, to call yeah. in. I, I've been fucking debate that little shit. If there's if there is a way to have him call in if he's listening, uh, but I, I, I don't think he is. I think he has my number. Yeah. I'd much rather debate him in person because over the phone he can just yell a bunch of slurs right. and that kind oh. of stuff. Like it has to be. Well, if he comes back to LA, we could maybe set something up. Uh, but I don't think he's coming back to LA now that he's on the outs with Kanye. <sighs> well, you know. But maybe he'll do he a world tour if he's out there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he'd be allowed in Europe. No, he's, well, he's, not even that. I think he'd get beat up in Europe. I I think he, he would, would absolutely get a. Yeah, he would get jumped. He'd get, in Europe, he would. I mean, I think there's a lot of people who would be ra- here in America. It's weird. Like we don't. You guys do have the hate speech, you know, laws abroad. So abroad, they'd be like, "Oh my god, this guy's a monster." Here, we're a little more, more what permissive. I don't know. No, I I, I do think Americans think he's a monster and, and a. Dick. I don't know. Some guys. Some I people do. do. Some do. Yeah. I just think he's an asshole. You know. I don't think, look, I don't think that guy, if he gave him a gun, is actually going to go out and shoot people. But I think if he knew he could convince someone to shoot people, he'd be, like, pretty okay well, with it. Would you not? 
Depends on who they're shooting. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. next. <laughs> yeah, I want to shoot all the, <laughs> the bad people, you know? Like the Trump. All right. Uh, Jay Thompson wants Fuentes to come on. We'll see what we can do. Utah-based Armenian for two. Uh-huh. Europeans are tolerant until you mention gypsies. That That is way to the Romani people. Because gypsy is kind of a slur. I'm yeah, sorry, I'm super well, leftist. No, no, we, I'm no. a super leftist over here. Yeah. Romani, but basically, yes. Romani people are actually Europeans are the most racist. All Europeans to most of Romani people. It's actually super fucked up. He's right. I've seen I've seen some huh. of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. They treat Romanis the way the you know the way we endlessly retweet videos of black people doing things wrong. I don't do that. I think that's horrible. Well, okay. The way Anthony Kumia do does. <laughs> You do that, Vito? No, Kumia does that. Yeah, he's... <laughs> I don't do that. No, I don't play parts. She like My... dags like that. Miles Gypsies. Wilson for five. The real problem is you're not in competence. I know 80 plus knots and my life is perfect. Fuck you, Miles. Yeah, I'm, feel, I'm jealous. Steve, for five, when your shoelaces don't come, won't come untied and you have to pee, but you don't want to mess up your carpet walking on it with your dirty work boots. See, not anxiety. You know the need, the furious need what to get you, that knot off. That's like a, a blue collar guy talk, but he sounds like an eleven year old. He's talking about his dirty work boots, but having to pee. This was a problem specifically designed for Captain Boomies, our nautical fan, who oh, says Miles yeah. is right about knowing how to tie eighty types of knot. All right, Captain Boomies, if you're a ship captain, I guess knots aren't a fucking problem. Yeah. Uh, did uh, I skip some? Uh, Miles is right. Yeah. There we go. Go up a little bit. Shred for five. Great episode. Going to have to go with the knots problem. An age-old yeah. idea. Is it too tight or too loose? The perfect balance is impossible to strike. Yeah. Dickie for five. Vito getting to his problem. Meanders for five minutes. Vito Toad's voicemail. 30 seconds or less. <laughs> I have Q-tips to buy. Yeah. The show's going long. I did a quick problem to wrap it up. Christopher Marsh for five. Biggest problem is conversation. Men just talk about the same things and make the same jokes. Women say words without actually saying anything. Mm. Jazz fan for two, no video game violence, two words, David Katz. Who's he? Uh, no idea. On the John for five. Hey, Vito, I want to congratulate you for holding your own against those progressives, interrogating you over your gender. You were kicking serious ass. I had a oh, ton yeah, of fun. yeah, that was great. On the Cherry stream. I hope she'll post it on YouTube because it went so well. Uh, and well, Vito said, what was your point? That if transgender is like a real is, thing, what are they identifying as? Well, I said, I'm a woman. And they said, no, you're not. And I said, then you don't agree with gender self-identification. They yeah. Said, no, I do. And I said, then I'm a woman. And they said, I don't think you're a woman. And I said, so you don't agree with gender self-identification? And they said, no, but I do. And then we did that for about two hours until they finally that, said, that, I'm a woman, and proved my point. That Asian lady came on and screamed at you. Yes. Like and crazy. that was very funny. That was funny. It was a great sh- uh, stream. I hope we get a, somebody has an archive of it. Luke Branch, or uh, sorry, Luke Blanche. For six ninety nine Canadian, my great grandfather spent four years toiling in the harshest conditions, underfed, overworked, three years on the Pew Pew Tower, and no raise. Wow. Uh, Utah-based Armenian for five. The statistic about ninety percent of American Jews supporting Israel is BS. Oh. It comes from a cross tab of a larger poll that only included like ten Jews. Interesting. Oh. Well, Dick spreading misinformation as always. <laughs> I guess uh, I'll have to go ask some. Uh, American Jews. Well, guys, it's been the biggest problem in the universe. I want to thank our guest, Luke Bernard, video game developer, and uh, my good Twitter friend. Thank you, Luke, for coming by. No yes. Problem. Thank you. That was great. Sometime in the near future, you will be able to tour his Holocaust Museum. Was, was this a one-man project, the Holocaust Museum? Did you build it entirely no, no, yourself? Me, me and my team. You and a team? Me and my team that made the light in the darkness. Well, I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'll have to reinstall Fortnite. And, uh, is there a speed run of uh, no. The Light in the Dark? No. Uh, Have you seen the speed the runs of your game? Yeah. Well, it's like a Telltale game, so it's pretty much not really speed running. Yeah. Um, but okay. that's the thing. Again, processing uh, through the dialogue as quickly you have as to possible. grind through it. Or- well, you know, actually, what was funny again is that people even that hate it pretty much, they play it and they cry at the end. Yeah. So that that's what's funny. So anyone, anytime any people try to troll that game, I'm just like kind of yeah. super immune to it. I am. I'm just like, play it. The fact, that, sure you a, feel the fact that you've put anything out into the ether, yeah, most people don't make anything, so. Yeah. Did you ever play Detroit Become Human? I guess it was too long. I just oh, so you did not get to the robot holocaust? 
Well, there's a literal part where you are a robot lady with a robot kid, and you and a bunch of other robots are being forced onto trucks. Hey, yeah, I've seen that part. Robot Holocaust. <laughs> so, 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 I, I, actually, that, that brings up interesting. You should definitely thing. play it to no, try to become human, or I'm, at least watch I'm, the cutscene. I'm going to play it, but I think one problem which the video game industry. God, that's not a problem. Which the video game industry has had is they actually haven't addressed the Holocaust. So they actually haven't even had yeah. the balls to We have all these it. World War II games. There's never it, been exactly. like they should at fight least your way out of Birkenau. Well, probably right? not that, but you know. Well, I mean, you could put a what machine about gun on a guy. Wolfenstein. I love, You're a POW. You I, gotta escape. I love the new Wolfenstein games. Oh, the new one. I'm at the old one. And BJ Blaskowitz is now canonically Jewish, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought he is thought Jew- that the whole time. Well, that was the thing. He looks Aryan pretty much, but yeah, he's basically half. No, the new Wolfenstein games are fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Although I didn't play the one. I started playing the one where it's like his kids, and that one sucks. No, that one's not that. Yeah, that yeah. one's very bad. Guys, this has been the biggest problem in the universe. Don't forget, vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. We're going to put up a list of our most beloved oh, yeah, supporters, yeah, yeah. which I still need to update because I'm an idiot. Uh, but we do no- love your support. Please support the show at patreon.com slash biggest problem and backed up by slash biggest problem. That's a really old one. Is that not the right one? No, that's like got to be from like forever ago, right? Oh, Maybe not. I don't right. know. Here, is this it? What's that one? I thought I put the back. By, I thought I put the back. Oh no! By it's because uh, it's because I only have it on the two one. There yeah, because see that one has the back by link. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's the most uh, updated list. We love you guys. We will have. Uh, we're still working on getting the big live show together. We got to figure it out. Oh, times. God. All right. Times coming in. Yeah. Uh, times. You right have out. to hit. You have to hit one way in, or we're not having it. <laughs> well, this next one's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm going to push it to the limit. If you, if you don't hit it, we're not having the show. I got water upstairs. I got a water bottle. <laughs> oh When's God, the la- when have I water. ever brought water to your house? I don't th- never. I've never seen you drink water. I, yeah, you haven't because I don't. <sighs> but now I'm doing it, and it's going to be great. Okay. Yeah, thank you again, right. Luke, for Goodbye. coming by. Thank you, Luke.